Now, I've looked at Sovereign Citizens before, right? Like, I did a stream a while back about Sovereign Citizens, but last night, by complete sheer accident, I learned about an entirely new sector of weirdo Sovereign Citizen people, and it's completely fascinating fascinating to me. I'm, I'm very happy to bring this to you today. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, these people like to call themselves First Amendment Auditors. What they would like you to believe that First Amendment auditing is, is uh, them sort of testing the limits of the Constitution or something. Uh, what it actually is, is them harassing people and making them uncomfortable until the cops come, and then hurling insults at the cops and trying to provoke uh, conflict. And it's truly one of the most uniquely beautiful and infuriating things I've ever witnessed on the internet. I spent about six hours watching these videos last night, and I'm 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 down to do it again. I got drinks. I'm 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 here for for the long haul. This one's gonna take a while. Arizona auditor. Let's watch this one here. I love that. I love that man's face. Snowflakes melting in the Arizona sun, and Phoenix PD tyrant found. And this is a fantastic video. I watched all 38 minutes of it last night, and uh, I, I highly recommend it. So in this in this video, our friendly Arizona auditor friend uh, decides to uh, decides to basically like weirdly stalk and film a uh, I think it's like the Air Force Base or something like that. And uh it's 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 very it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be real. Okay, cool cool intro, bro. Cool intro. I guess I should also say before we get into this that if any if any freedom auditor people start showing up in the chat, you know, listen, man. What law am I breaking by making fun of your stupid videos? What law? For the Constitution and the Amendment and the First Amendment rights under God, my man. I am not, I am not driving. Howdy. 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 Nice, what you doing? So this guy's a snowflake because he's doing his job and asking what, what these people are doing. Like filming a, 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 an Air Force base or whatever this is. They're literally deliberating over what to do. Are we gonna give him the silent treatment, bro? So one of the great things about Arizona Auditor is that uh, him and other people like him, they have like a, a bitch boy that, that, that they have on the sidelines. Like this other guy who stands there and he's just kind of like the hype man. It's very awkward. <laughs> he just kind of stands there and goes like, You're a stupid idiot and I hate you. You're a loser and an asshole. It, it's, uh, it's pretty great. Hello. Hello. So they're just acting like children and giving him the silent treatment. This man is politely trying to ask them what they're doing here, and they're just like, mm -hmm, not talking, not talking to you. Mm -hmm. And this is a common tactic among these people. And I will admit it's kind of an interesting social experiment, but it's also like, just stop being a prick. Come on. For all this guy knows, these people are like comic book super terrorists ready to like do some crazy shit. There's always that scene in like an Iron Man or whatever where there's like a guy who's just standing there and then he starts like doing something crazy and then there's like an attack or something. Something. He turns himself into like a super creature or something. I don't know. That, that's what that's what Arizona Auditor could do. So he's trying to film them back. I guess he's showing a picture of what's happening to whoever he's reporting. And, and, and you can hear... You can hear, like, very muffled, like, snickering from these guys. They really do get off on this, on, like, like har harassing people and trying to 
goad them into a reaction. It's 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 very evident that there's like at least for some of them, I I am fucking certain there's like a sexual thing going on here. It's kind of bright to use that flash. Now the first words that he says to this man on this territory are like goading him. The guy asked him what he was doing here and what, you know, what's going on, why he's filming, and he they said nothing. And then the first thing they said was like, huh, you using your flash and your camera on us, bro? Okay, guy, okay. So clearly this is trying to provoke them. Now he's turned away. He doesn't want to be, like, victim to their weirdness anymore. Ah, oh, here's my favorite guy. No, oh, show us the other guy. He's, he's better. What is with these people not- like, they wear the mask over just the mouth. It's- I don't know. What's going- what's going on, guy? Someone in the chat says these people are definitely going to show up in the tar in the comments for the vod. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm look. It's going to be so good. I, if this doesn't, I might not have the vod up because of uh, the tricky song in the beginning. Uh, I might get blocked worldwide or something. But uh, if I if I put up the the clip, man, oh, it's going to be so good. I'm going to have I'm going to have content to make fun of for fucking like months. It's going to be great. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna jump ahead a little. This guy's just like reporting. Ah, uh, here he is. I don't feel it. I don't know. There's something about just just this face that he's got. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I love this man. <laughs> He's he's my he's my favorite character in this video, but uh, you know he's not that important in the grand scheme of things. But this man is our boy Jarrett, uh, who presumably fights for his country or something. Uh, and uh, just got here, haven't even uh, done my introduction yet, and already got. Uh, what do you mean your introduction? You the guy asked you what you were doing here, and you gave him the silent treatment like a literal five year old. What are you doing? Confronted by a guy asking what we're doing, now we just called the. Uh, soldier it looks like so we're gonna go ahead and uh yeah. see how you can help these guys okay now we've already decided this is a snowflake before we even we even see what he has to say or what's going on excuse me gentlemen can i ask you what you're doing you can ask oh you can just hear that fucking smug this is this is the thing about this these videos especially this guy is that this is some fucking enraging shit my dude like <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You might want to, I, I don't know, just, just, just be, be safe while you're watching this one. <laughs> you might go full, like, uh, full, uh, Nolan Grayson, uh, episode eight. Uh, think Arizona, think. Yeah. Filming a, uh, federal facility is kind of a, kind of a no go. Whoa, fucking stupid. I love the, I love just like quoting directly what he says and then going lol that's like a 4chan post it's like it, it doesn't stop being true just because you quote it and say lol i mean <laughs> i don't know uh that's that's very good where good, is that good logic um because we're kind of uh heightened about our security is that uh is there a law or anything like that about can i get your guys names what was your name can i get your name jared <laughs> I the one of the best parts of these videos is the beginning whenever the first authority figure shows up and you can see whether or not they've done this kind of shit before some of them have and we're going to get to our boy the hero cop later but uh <laughs> but yeah sometimes it's you can tell that they were not expecting to have to deal with this today and uh, it's 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 quite lovely. Uh, very keen. No particular reason you guys are uh, interested in our facility. So is there a law against what we're doing? 
Is there any particular reason you guys are interested in our facility? Any reason why you won't answer that? Yes, sir. Gentlemen, I'm gonna ask you one time to stop filming and leave our uh, grounds, because our grounds start right there at the blacktop. If you don't leave now, I'm gonna have to uh, call the police. Now, we're about to get into what Bear liked to, to, to call like real life cheat codes. Um, essentially, these guys have found some stupid fucking tap dancey loophole whereby they can act like a fucking complete tard and uh, not a bully stream. And uh, <laughs> and uh, it it has to do with like very specific shit involving like fucking a, a fire hydrant being like a specialized property or whatever, like really specific dumb shit. And he's about to use this one word like 700 times. See if you can pick up on it. That's... Uh, before you make a mistake, <laughs> Oh, wait, this is the bitch boy. Now he's going to, the, the man off to the side, the hype man. He's like, oh, listen, smart ass, before you make a mistake. I'm going to have to uh, call the police. Uh, That's... Before you make a mistake, it's an easement. <laughs> these are utilities right here. This yeah, is an... you guys put up the utility poles or what? This is actually, an easement. We talked to the city. And we actually own all the way up to that black. Top. You might own it. That's correct. But it's a open to the public, which is a public easement. Do you do you I see? Understand. Do you see this gate right here? Do you see this gate right here? Look at that I'm tapping. You see it? You know? You understand why it's over here and not at the end of the black where the black top starts? Do you know that? Is there a reason why you refuse to answer if there's a law against what we're doing? And now I would like to briefly take a diversion down to the comments where you can see that like these people, for whatever reason, the majority, look at the like ratio, the majority of the people that have found these videos are like on their own side, uh, th this guy's side. Uh, it's very clear that they're just like intentionally being fucking pricks and trying to promote, provoke people. But you get comments like his own stupidity puts him in danger. The only stick in his and the only stick is the one his partner left up there. Uh oh, oh, that's the thing. That's the guy from later, right? But yeah, uh, a lot of stuff about like they're in danger. It's it's it seems like they want these people to feel intimidated and afraid, which is alarming. Jared? No. I got your tongue. Police, please. So, uh, 6201 East Oak Street. You, uh... There you guys go. There's the address. We got, uh, I don't know if it's private, yes. if it's sergeant, if it's whatever his rank is, Jarrett. So, uh, now, they're trying to do this thing where they basically, like, dox these people, which is really strange. Uh, they, 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 uh, this is a common tactic among these people is like, oh, it's just free information, bro. And they'll get their fucking badge number or whatever. And like their city and everything. It's, it's very, I don't, I, I don't know. It's uh, pretty messed up. Did you swear no to protect the constitution, to def uh, defend I just the constitution? Have, uh, two gentlemen taping a federal facility and I just need some assistance. He needs a wambulance. Six two zero one. He needs a wambulance. Chat. This is a video uploaded a couple days ago. No, no, the video with snowflakes and wambulance in 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 its lexicon are. Uh, it was not uploaded in 2015. Uh, surprisingly. East Oak Street. <laughs> On this side of uh of this of this sign, guys. Check this out. They're videotaping our facility right now. On a public easement? Yes. On a public easement, guys. They're on foot. Now we're going to skip ahead a little bit more here, but uh, you know, one of the things I really like with these sorts of people, it's really the same with the other kind of sovereign citizen people, where it's like, they will... They will scour the fucking law books to find the stuff that makes that like agrees with their stupid shit. Like the stupidest technicalities about like, oh, an easement. It's a bro. It's an easement. I'm allowed to be on the easement. What the fuck? You don't know about the easement? But they'll completely ignore everything that it, that mentions like, I don't know, harassment or, you know, Fucking unlawful surveillance or any 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 of the other shit that could apply to what they're doing. 
They'll just ignore all of that. That's fine. In front of it. I love it. Just outside of our uh, exterior gate. Oh, yeah, what the media, buddy? Yeah, man. Can't tell about the camera. Uh, oh. What do you guys think? Is it going to be an itch? Uh, both males. Oh, What's up, actor, man? Blue jeans? No. I, I'm, 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 I'm Chris Jarrett. Thanks for divulging that information, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for cooperating. Please. Thanks for cooperating. It's that. It's also that smug shit where these people seem to have learned. These backwater hillbillies seem to have learned that. Oh, dude. Hey, hey, Raylan. Turns out they're public servants. That means that we could tell them to do whatever we like. And they go around being like, "No, you're dismissed, officer," and stupid shit like that. So. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit more here. And they're basically like filming the outside of this place. They've got like the map of it here, a whole bunch of shit. They're just filming people inside. They're like standing outside and they're like filming them. This guy looks like Adam Baldwin and they're still trying to fuck with him. Nah, he doesn't give a shit. Most of them don't really give a shit, but then we get to, uh, back, back to the front, and we start, like... You will do what I say! So now we're just peering in on people. Look at this man. Look at this... Look at this understandably, justifiably upset man who's watching this... Fucking weirdo, like, spying on them- on him with, like, video equipment. That is a man who has better things to do. Oh yeah, get his license plate, bro. Make sure to get his license plate, because, you know, why? L literally, why? What point does that serve other than clearly being, like, very confrontational and fucking bizarre? What? Jesus Christ. Is the police? Uh, might be. That is the police. Oh, here we go. Yo, I think we got the police. The police, everybody. The police oh, are coming. gonna go in there. Oh, yeah. So, it's about to get real good when we talk to the, po the police officer. Oh, that's the bitch boy, I think, is the, the, the man with the neck tattoo, which is a, le a not as well received uh, book or movie than that other uh, that other one about the dragon tattoo. But yeah, that's the guy who's like just kind of in the background being like, yeah, you tell him, Arizona auditor. Like that, that's that's this guy, I guess. How you doing? OK, so now take note, you know, I, I'd like to, I'd like to say right now, I mean, obviously, you know, stuff. There's there's stuff going on. People don't like the cops these days, and that's 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 somewhat understandable based on some things that have happened. Uh, but but you'll see real quick here that these are every time I see a, one of these videos, these are just people trying to do their jobs, uh, and I they're they're encountering such pointless resistance from these bizarre fuckers. Uh, there is one video that I saw in which these guys were responding to a multiple car wreck and this dude was just like yelling, Hey, badge number, name and badge number, and flipping him off in the middle of the street. Uh, so, you know, whatever you got to say about your A cab or whatever, let's not bring it here. These are just people trying to do, trying to do what they're, you know, paid to do. Uh, in, in, in all of the videos I've watched anyway, uh, that's, that's all I've seen. And, uh, yeah, they're, they, they really don't deserve to deal with this kind of shit. What's your uh, name and batch number? Hey, yeah, I have hey, no name tag. Hey, if you, if you guys can. Name and batch number before you say anything else. Okay. I'm going to ask name you Name and batch quick. number. Hold on one second. No, I'm, I'm I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear anything you say. Continue name and batch number. Hold on one second. You, you don't have a name tag, bro. I can't even read it. I can't even read your name tag. stick right in front of me. So you can set it right there No, I'm not going to do anything. This is my property. You're not going to tell me what to do with my own property. What is your property, sir? 
What an asshole, am I right? Like, G- <laughs> <laughs> He's just, like, overwhelming this guy and trying to b- wear him down with his stupid fucking nonsense. It's really, it's really childish. Uh, it's... This is this is pathetic. Like this is textbook pathetic. This is this is the behavior of like a fucking 14-year-old trying to act like smart or whatever. This is my property. You're not going to tell me what to do with it. Okay. All right. Do you have an idea on you by any chance? Did I have I committed a crime? Okay. You keep moving that in front of me. I am going to remove it. It's a it camera. It. It's a okay. camera. Do you so not he see can, it? Are you, you can continue to Why are you afraid there, of it? But I'm saying you're not keep swinging This guy it. is already so upset right now. Like he's all he 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 is one of the ones who was not set up to deal with this. Like no disrespect to him. He's doing his best. Nobody, (laughs) nobody expects this kind of shit on their, their job. Uh, but, but, but yeah, he, he's not, he's not the best in this situation. He kind of, I, I don't know. I feel like he could probably do more to sort of put his foot down here or at least combat their nonsense. But yeah, he's, he's pretty quickly being worn down. Uh, and, Hopefully the next time he encounters somebody like this, uh, he's, he's got, he's got more experience to, to go along with it. Uh, an item in front Nobody's of me. swinging so anything, I'm moving your, it. If you want to tell no. your friend to hold it, that's fine with me. Have I committed a crime? Listen, we're here to investigate. Have I committed a crime? Around... What crime have I committed? Oh, one second, we're sitting here. And... What crime? Investigating, right? What's, so what? all we're here, all we're here to, to do, me, bro. listen to me, all we're here to do is ask I don't, questions. I don't have to listen to you. Why do I, who but, are you that I got to listen to? But if you're on their property, Have right? I been on their property? Yes, you have. Where, when have I, yeah, where was on property? This is all their property. I just saw you walking so behind the So the utility poles. The guys said before that, like, the guy said before that, like, it was their property out to the sidewalk or the black tarmac or whatever it was he said. Uh, and, and they acknowledged it and they were like, yeah, but this side is public property, but it's like, it's still, or it's private, but like, it's still like accessible to the public. It's still their property. So frankly, if they do want to do this, I mean, you're, you are on their property and they even acknowledged that before, but you know, he's going to go into this whole fucking smooth brain, like logic about like the, the light poles or whatever. Again, it's like video game, like cheat codes in real life. Like, oh bro, no, I'm touching the sidewalk. What do you, well, well, you can't arrest me. It's like, it's like a cartoon about like, oh no, bro. Sorry. I crossed the, the, the border, the state border. You can't arrest me anymore. Sorry. That's how it works. Like, it's the dumbest shit. That are right there are not public. They that, put them on this. This is an easement, bro. Do you see why that gate is right there? Okay, so if you want to continue to go down this with being argumentative about it, you're more than welcome to, but there's no reason to be argumentative of it. We're you're, here. You're wrong. How can I not argue when you're wrong? How am I wrong? I haven't done anything. You're absolutely wrong. You're telling me that I'm on their property on when second. it's no, absolutely hold, not, hold not on true. One you just said that I did something wrong. All I did is walk up you're, to you you're and say hi. Me. So how, no. how am I doing something wrong? You, you didn't just tell me that I'm on their property? I did. That's where you're wrong. Okay. Have I explained myself correctly? Sir. No, but they admitted earlier on when they were talking to this guy here that like, yeah, this is your property out to the, the blacktop or whatever. But you, but you know, it's open to the public. You, you can, if it's open to the public, like, like someone in chat said, my lawn is open to the public, but it's still private property. Like, yeah, that's that's kind of what this is. It's like the lawn of the Air Force Base. How how are you doing today? <laughs> <laughs> I love the cop just switches tactics midway, and he's like trying to do a wellness check on this asshole. You're wrong. Okay. Have I explained myself correctly, sir? How, sir how are you doing today, sir? Are you okay? <laughs> Sir, it's hot out. You know, you're not you when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, then if you could leave their property, that's fine. Okay? I was but never on their property. The roadway, okay? I was never on their property. Okay. I was on a public if not, easement. If you're not Do gonna... you know what the public easement Bro, is? Bro, it's the easement, okay? Ease off. I'm on the easement. I... I mentioned earlier they found a word that they wanted to run with and they they found the word easement and they started fucking circle jerk creaming themselves being like, oh, bro, this changes everything, dog. We can annoy people more efficiently than ever before. You know how many feet? I don't need to be cooperative. You can leave then. Have a good day. You're dismissed. All right. I, I'm here. Yeah, I'm I am. Not leaving anywhere, man. I don't this care. I'm not going too. anywhere either. All right. So then, have, so, have a good day. I am having an amazing Sir, day. Get out of the roadway. No, I'm not in the roadway. I'm you are in the roadway. Okay. So now the bitch boy is like standing in the roadway, and it, to be fair, he's standing like in front of the cop car, which is parked. So it's not really a big deal. But like, if this guy wants to start getting like technical, 
I don't get, like, the videos that I've seen of this shit, they don't really start throwing the book at them too hard, and I don't understand why. You know, these people are trying to do exactly that to you and be like, oh, bro, you touched me. That's harassment. I'm going to get your job for for this or whatever stupid shit. These people, the cops almost never, you know, start, start in on like, uh, yeah, well, you know, you raised your voice at me and section nine of the whatever says that fuck you. Like, you don't get as much of that. And usually it's, it's probably because they're trained to just like, I don't know, ignore them and they'll go away, which, man, they have more fucking patience than I do. Out of the roadway. You can stand on the rocks right there. I'm telling you. You just gotta come here and, and try to assert some sort of authority, which you don't have. You don't have no, shit. No, you guys are sitting here wasting your time. No, here you're wasting our time. You're somebody. wasting our you're resources. You're wasting our tax dollars. Okay. That's what you're doing. We're not okay. wasting anything. I'm doing something I love to do. I'm exercising a right. Which is what? You know you know what the First Amendment of the Constitution says? Which, which is what, sir? You don't know it? What is it, what is it you're doing today that you're... I'm exercising my First Amendment right to freedom oh. of the press. Okay. Okay, well, is great. that pretty clear? All right, well, great then. Okay, so then don't come do and many, try to threaten on my, on my rights. Hold on, do you know how many news recorders we talked to? News reporters we talked to? I don't care, that's Millions. irrelevant. That's irrelevant. So if you're you know, you're talking to me right now and you're wasting my time. Okay. Well, what then. are you still oh, doing? He's wasting this fucking dick cheese's time. All right. You could turn around and walk away. I could sit here and So I'm not detained, right? I'm not detained, right? Okay, so if I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. What's the problem? All right, then you're you are more you're gonna leave before I do, bro. I promise you that. Okay, well, I'm not your bro. <laughs> yeah, I, you're of course you're not my bro. I don't know what your name is. You haven't you're, identified you're, yourself. As I'm not your bro, pal. The police sitting, officer. Yeah. You haven't given me your name. You're not wearing a, right. a name a name tag. Right, so hey, what's, I, I'm not I, your brother, bro. I, I, don't call I, I, me I brother. Appreciate, then. I appreciate. Don't I appreciate call me a brother. Just, I appreciate this guy is losing right now. <laughs> it's 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 unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. You you know it, it with for all the talk, and this is probably gonna ups, ruffle some feathers. But hear me out. For all the talk of like police brutality, of course that's happening. But man, in there's a, clearly a, 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 a weird fucking crack in the law where some assholes can get away with some shit, and it, this is infuriating. <laughs> It's like, I don't know, it, you th you would assume watching this that, oh, the cops must not have enough power if they're allowing these fucking assholes to get away with this, which clearly, in many cases, the cops do have uh, somewhat too much power, but, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe the reform should uh, begin with not killing as many people and continue with, I don't know, Learning how to fucking throw the book at these assholes and 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 get them off the fucking street for this nonsense. You having a nice God, day? Man. I'm having an amazing day, bro. Right, I don't care you whether you appreciate nice it or not. It has yeah, nothing to do with it. Job, this guy's so worried right now because they've got all the cameras and he knows that they're trying to provoke him and he can't really do too much to them. He he could you could make the argument for like tasing at this point the way that they're fucking okay not at this point in a little bit they start hurling insults at him constantly. Uh, at a certain point, you would assume that that constitutes some level of harassment, but yeah, this guy, obviously, he doesn't want to, like, lose his job and wind up on the fucking news or whatever, so he's just gonna, he's just playing it easy, and I guess that is the right strategy, but man, I don't know, I, I feel like he could do more. He ain't identified himself. What's your name, bro? What's your name? What's your name, bro? What's your name? Make sure you don't have Just do a walk of shame for me. Go ahead, bro. Do a walk of shame for me. Go ahead, no you're dismissed. Game, this yeah, is a walk of shame walk right here. Okay. You can't even right. identify right. yourself, bro, as a police right. officer. What's your name? If I, see, if I see you in the road, where you're going to get a ticket. You're not going to do shit, bro. Okay. It's a bike lane. It's a bike lane. Do you not know what that is? I like that the entire chat has turned into, you're not my essay, not my essay, hombre, and shit like that. That's great. So I was going to jump ahead, but I think this is where the, like, insulting You're starts. not going to do shit, bro. Okay. It's a bike lane. It's a bike lane. Do you not know what that is? Are you a bike? What, does it matter? Are you bicycle? What's your name, bro? Listen, back up I to my car. Submit, I'm not going to tell you again. Submit. Back up to my car. That's my car. Okay. You Listen. can leave whenever. That's my car? Now, clearly that sounds retarded, but <laughs> follow the logic on this one. They're, uh, they, they, they like to take the, like, 65-year-old grandpa at the post office approach of going, I pay your salary, motherfucker! Uh, the, the whole taxpayer thing, they're, they're, they're really running fast and loose with it. So by their logic, that's their car because I don't know, taxes, uh, fucking <laughs> whatever, man.
Back I'm up to my not car detained. before you I'm get not uh, handcuffs. You understand me? I'm not You're detained. not going to me and follow me to Look, my car. You understand me? me? Didn't I just back Listen up? Listen to me. Didn't I just back up? You better back up right back now. Up. I'm going to tell you. You're not following me to my car. You could do whatever you want, but you put me in danger. Listen to me. You put me in danger, you're going to be arrested. How are you in danger, bro? Can you imagine what's going through this man's head right now while this guy is shouting, Bro, that's my car! That's my car! I'm asking you to step right over there. All I want is your name. All I want is your name. Thank you. What's your name? Quit, quit following me. I'm telling I'm you right now. I'm not following you, Listen bro. To me. I'm not following you. I'm Listen standing me. still Listen right here. I, I guarantee you I will have the last laugh of this, okay? Uh -huh. You follow to me with my car. Uh -huh. Fucking bitch boy in the background. With the stick? I'm not. You are going to get it. You're going to get it. It's a, called you a monopod. It's an okay. equipment. It's a piece of equipment. So then stand it's not right a stick. over there. It's not a Thank beating you. stick. It's not Thank an you. officer beating stick. You are ridiculous. Thank you are ridiculous, bro. You're ridiculous. little. You're so scared of everything. It's a stick. It's a monopod. Yeah, you got to. Come on, bro. It's a monopod. Respect the monopod, bro. Vehicle 91131. What was your name? Guys. What was your name? Vehicle And uh, yeah, uh, again, it's like they take this pleasure in this guy being afraid of this weirdo standing around with a stick. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, and they just kind of keep filming him in the car. One, two, you guys. Filming him in the car and, of course, announcing to their fucking stream or whatever the exact vehicle number and license plate and all this stupid shit. Because, again, that that clearly it is necessary. I don't know. There's 324 people watching right now. His ego is keeping him here. Hey, you can let your uh, ego down and you can I leave now. step way back away from my vehicle. I'm doing my work here. Yeah, you know, You're on the yeah, side of the road on the wrong side of the street. Go do your fucking work somewhere else. Go you dumbass, go do your work somewhere else, bro. You're in the middle of the fucking street you on the wrong sit, side. Sit I do. I, it's my First school. Amendment right also. Do you right. know what that is? Yeah, it's called freedom school. of speech. What's your patrol Feed of freedom of speech, asshole. dumbass. I think one of my favorite lines is about to come up. Listen to this. He has to be professional, not us. He has to be professional, not us. He's supposed to be better than, uh, than us. I'm a stupid fucking loser asshole scumbag, but he's supposed to have more professional decency than to be exasperated with us cursing at him. What a dipshit, am I right, fellow sovereign citizens? I just love the logic, it's amazing. It's like, it's like they're literally acknowledging, yeah, well, we're allowed to be fucking huge dipshits to you, but you're supposed to fucking kiss our feet, asshole. It's, it's really absurd. Go ahead, do your work right here in front of me where it's I can record everything. The road, no emergency lights, barking at photographers that are doing First Amendment protected activities on public property. How smart, much more stupid could these people get? How smart, much more stupid could they get, bro? Am I right? Thank you, bitch boy. Me. This dude's about to do some dumb shit. Let him do it. He's on a fucking live stream right now. Huh, huh. Actually, don't let him do it. Don't let That's him right. Do it. You can go now. Dismissed. Go. You're dismissed. You're dismissed now. You can leave now. Okay, cool. I'm that's it. You guys are ridiculous. It's You're not even yeah, that, dude. You, that you guys are sitting here. All the words coming out of your mouth, it, it sounds. You're the one like that's shit. scared of a monopod a cop, with a camera on it, bro. A and we're ridiculous. They're just like so fucking thrilled that this guy is like not. It's a weird. It's a weird mixture thing because it's like they want to be fucking punched in the face. They want to have the pleasure of being like, bro, you assaulted me. I'm gonna fucking press charges, bro, and all this shit. But it's like. But but they also love the feeling of like having power and exerting power over this guy and forcing him to run away, which is kind of what he's doing. I mean, again, I don't understand. I don't know what it's like to be a cop, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, based on what I'm seeing, it sure feels like this guy should be able to arrest these guys for fucking something. I don't know. But uh, uh, just being like a fucking argumentative, impeding an investigation, call it that, whatever. Like, when you're just being a giant asshole like this, whatever, get him on something, it's fine. <laughs> but, like, but, like, this guy's leaving, because honestly, that probably is the smarter play. These people are generally harmless, or at least it seems that way. They aren't, like, about to actually do some shit. When you talk to them and you realize they're not, like, a terrorist or something, they're just standing there being fucking dipshits. You're just like, okay, all you want is attention, so I'm going to go and stop a fucking robbery or a murder or some ha some shit that's actually happening. That's the thing you need to keep in mind during all of these cop interactions with these people is that 
they're at the at the time while these cops usually like multiple cops are engaged with some asshole who's like dicking them around and and trying to be a problem for them there's probably like robberies and fucking shootings happening like a block away that they could be doing something about potentially um you know i i don't know uh it's it's pretty 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 fucked up. You're scared of a monopod, bro. It's a piece of equipment. It's not a beating stick. It's not a cop beating right, stick. Let me let me have. Nah, you can't have shit, bro. You can leave now. Go. Go. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? You have a gun on you, and I wasn't scared of you. Oh my god. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Pussy. Pussy. Oh, look. Listen to the bitch boy giggling. All right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Pussy. <laughs> Sounds like an owl. Go and do your work right in front of my camera so I can record everything. Oh yeah, bro, you're really recording everything. You guys getting all that important data there on the uh, on the the police computer? Yeah, well, you getting it all in? I, I I'm seeing that he's looking up a uh, Johnny Smudge uh, location ten window Smudge Avenue, uh, fifteen Sun Sun Glare Crescent. And I mean, you know, this keeps happening uh, later on. They, you know, because at the end of the day, these people never really get the last laugh. They always kind of lose. Uh, they they uh, they basically walk away and they they go to another area and they continue doing their crazy shit. But yeah, like they 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 slowly get kicked off the premises uh, as they as they should. Come on, play the video. Come on, bro. Play the video. Oh, for God's sake. Play the... Hmm. Well, now this is happening. Let me just... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Direct D. There you go. Direct D on YouTube. Direct D, everybody. The the main man. Well, actually, not the main man. He's the bitch buddy in the background. He's not even in the title of the video. How embarrassing. You got a guy uh, servicing, some, uh, servicing something in the military, and he said it as he uh, enjoys our content. <laughs> Butter cream, California citizen. And then they meet some, like, random guy. This is like some weird Burger Andy shit with these people. This guy comes back. Oh, let me explain real quick. Good lord. So their property goes all the way from, of course, the fence line to the, the pavement, okay? So you guys have to leave the property. If you guys refuse to leave the property, you guys will be arrested as such. You guys understand? So, all right. So since you're, you're giving me information, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So I just want to clarify. What you're saying is that they put that fire hydrant and they put these po these public utilities, they put them under, they put them yes, on the road. I, There's I, no- I don't know about the utilities okay. and stuff. So, so hold on, my I, question's I, not I, done. I just told my, you, From I just the told middle you of the know. road here, there's no public easement. There, so if no. people walk on this side of the road, they there's have not, to. There's, they, not, sir. there's not a public I, I, easement. I'm letting you know, of course, what the rules state, right? You if you refuse, if you're refusing to leave the property, then are you refusing to leave the property? It's just such pedantic bullshit. I hate these fucking- <laughs> They like they literally have nothing better to do in their lives than just like a, a waste people's time, waste the authorities' time. This should be a, an offense on the level of like fucking prank calling nine one one or something. Yes. Well, I'm just I'm trying to clarify. Are you I want to clarify before I, I before I, you, I didn't refuse so if you anything. Stop running your mouth. You'll understand what I'm saying. Well, I have questions. Okay. So the dirt. The, you're so all professional, all the, okay. bro. Listen, I, I want to put a complaint on you. What was your name and badge the, number? My, my sergeant will be out here a second. He's Thanks. so un unprofessional. What was your badge number? Let me speak to your manager. It goes all the way to the dirt. Okay. It is their property. If you're refusing to if you're refusing to leave, if you're refusing to leave. Then, then you, you will be arrested. You understand that, right? right now, you understand that. <laughs> well, I'm not refusing to leave. I'll move. If okay. that's what you're saying, you're threatening to arrest me, right? Just I so am. we understand. No, I'm not threatening. Anything. I'm telling you that you're going to be arrested. Okay. So under okay. threatened arrest, I'll move out of the okay. way because I don't want to be arrested. Okay. But you're wrong. Okay. I need your name and badge okay. number before you, you leave. Walk, hey, uh, hey, bro, Cameron Ariola in chat. Why do you do the spam thing? Nobody likes that. I saw you in the Jay Longbone stream just spamming her recently, and it's like. What, why, what are you doing? 
That's that's really dumb. I, it's incredibly annoying. Stop doing it or I'll hide you. Uh, thank you. Street, I want Public service announcement. Copy Crest Street and get your report number and my, my badge number. Hey, sloppy fuck. Okay, let's go. Just say oh. it. This guy just called him a sloppy fucker. So before you, you want to walk cross street, I'll walk you cross street and get your report number and my, my badge number. Hey, sloppy fucker. Okay, let's go. Just say oh. it. Hey, sloppy fucker. This is, this is amazing. This is on par with uh, Cyrax's mom calling him horse fucker. That was, that was pretty good. Walk cross street. Hey, slap tard. What's your name and your badge? Slap tard. You try all day, brother. You're not going to get provoked, man. We already have. You're still all here, right. stupid. Have a nice day. You're still here, <laughs> stupid. I am. This fellow, these fellows really feel like they've won by wasting this guy's time and their time. They're, they're probably relatively short time on life. Unless these people are Viltrumites, they should really... <laughs> I, I just watched The Last Invincible. It's pretty good. Uh, these people should really consider the, you know, the, the length of, of the average human existence and, and <laughs> consider reevaluate if this is something they want to spend their time doing. I don't know. These guys are like fucking zombies, except, except instead of brains, they shout, My name and badge number! Name and badge number! Fucking bitch boy is just back there like rambling. Nobody's nobody's listening. You can write down your uh, sergeant's number as well, uh, name and badge. Now, now, somebody in chat is like, they might deserve to be arrested, but they're not in fact doing anything illegal. Uh, clearly that's like partially the point, uh, but I really don't know if you can say that. I mean, just shouting harassments at a cop and continuing to follow them with a camera after he's asked them to stop. I mean, I would assume that a cop has the same rights as anybody else. And if you did that to like, I don't know, a fucking Starbucks barista or some shit like you, you would probably wind up getting arrested for harassment or something. So, I, I don't know. I feel like they are kind of breaking some laws by doing some of this shit. Uh, but, you know, they that doesn't, that doesn't, that pales in comparison to the public easement, bro. That's neutral ground. That's like Switzerland. Okay, little pants. You're going to get a, a complaint for disseminating information oh, right man, now. man, if you want to go remove your bike from the property, they're going to take it up the property in a second here. All right, that belongs to the military base, so you got to go get your bike from over there, okay? Dude, you're so yeah, stupid. You're so stupid. <laughs> they're literally like children. They're, they're exactly, this is like arguing with a child. They just start s screaming louder than you and calling you stupid and calling you names. This is unbelievably pathetic. What's, what's your IQ level? Uh, you know what your IQ mean? level is? What's your know. IQ level, bro? It is, it is government, government, right? Hey, my man, listen, if you're refusing to leave your bike over there, it's, it's gonna be blah, impounded, blah. okay? Really? Yep. Now they're making the noise I was making. Blah, blah, blah. That's that, that's, that is, that's what you sound like, yeah. Are you serious? I am. That's what I just told you. Yeah, yeah he's, 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 he's Someone up. in chat says it's probably illegal to film military installations. Again, remember, a lot of these people, for whatever reason, this takes place in Phoenix and the rest of Arizona. Uh, I think there's another guy in Tucson, and uh, Tucson's in Arizona, right? I, I don't know. I've been playing a lot of GeoGuessr lately. I should really know that, but... Uh, yeah, this is happening in like f predominantly in Arizona and I guess some, a couple other places. There's one guy who does it in California, I think. Uh, I saw a dude doing it in like Illinois or something. But yeah, uh, there's again, there's probably like some really specific fucking like technicality that one of these assholes found and was just like spread the word to all of the people on the forum they use or whatever, the BBS, and they were just like, hey, hey, fellow members of the Sovereign Citizen News Group, uh, did you know if you're, if you're in a, if you're in Arizona, you can do da -da 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 -da, and if you stand by the fire hydrant, you can do da -da 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 -da, and it's like, it's just spread. It's probably not even true. It's like an old wives tale. They, they just heard this and they, they got giddy and they were like, oh, man, oh, oh, I can get away with being an asshole. Nice. So they're complaining and all that stuff. So, he's, he's, 
on an IQ level of five. I mean, he works at Mesa <laughs> TV, so he's not the brightest. An IQ level of five. Fox, he probably only makes about 50 grand a month. Just give him a break. He doesn't even have a name tag on, so he's not that important. Okay. Literally just provoking this guy. Like, this is a this is absurd. I... I don't get it. Like I, like I said before, if this was happening to any person in another profession, this would constitute harassment. Like you could be, you could probably be arrested for this. If you just started walking up to someone, filming them after they ask you not to, like that's what that plain potatoes guy did. Uh, the dude that Eddie Burback talked about, like that's what, that's what he did. And that was harassment. And he wound up in trouble with the fucking cops. And I don't get how doing this to a police officer makes it less, like, harassy or whatever, but... Well, once you learn your ge geography here... What? This what? Is actually, this My is what? Phoenix. You're in Phoenix right now. What? So, what did I say? Mesa. Mesa? Oh, I'm so used to Mesa. Yeah, so these guys are, like, not even from this town. They don't even go here! They're, like, from just, I guess, Arizona, and they just, like, wander around like nomads. They're probably homeless, and they just fucking wander around, and they're like, Oh, man, yeah, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna strike in Phoenix tonight. Uh, they'll not, they won't know what hit them. We're gonna go over, and we're gonna go to Mesa after this, and we're gonna fuck them up! Like, it, again, it's very pathetic, very sad little lives. Yeah, I don't live around here. My supervisor will be out here in a minute if you wish to talk with him. Oh, actually, let me write your answer number two. Let me move my right so they don't take it. Yeah, under From threat of arrest and duress and theft of property. property. Government property. Theft of property. Man, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here for a couple of hours and watch anyone walk on that side, and oh, then no. film that. Here you go, sir. That's the number that we got dispatch out here for, right there. At the okay, we're not gonna look at the phone number, but uh. Yeah, I mean, this keeps happening. They start provoking this guy. This is this is a good part where they, you know. Bro, you're a dumbass, bro. They start provoking this random guy. This isn't Jared from before. This is some other dude. This is just like J.C. Denton in a uni military uniform. And he's like, he's holding back, but mostly he doesn't give a fuck. Shouldn't be in the military if you're that scared. You remember what you saw an O2? You're gonna be my thumbnail. I'm gonna show you as a snowflake you are, bro. You're gonna be my, oh, my thumbnail. I thought he was saying like, you're gonna be my thumbnail, and I was very confused. I was like, that, that's getting into weird insult territory. You're, you're gonna be my bitch, my baby. I'm gonna be your father. I'm gonna be your fucking dad, bitch. Like, just weird shit. Your whole family's gonna see you on YouTube. Oh, it is getting into weird shit territory. Your daughter's gonna be ashamed of you, bro. Yeah, your whole family's gonna see you standing there and not beating the shit out of these people, and they're gonna wonder how you had the patience to deal with that. Fucking pussy! Fucking pussy. Yeah, I see your face blasted all over the place. And God bless this man. <laughs> like, like shout outs to this guy. I love it. I love it when they think they're making a point and they're like, oh, you're going to get, people are going to see your face and they're going to know what an asshole you are. And then like universally, it's like, oh man, that guy is so fucking based. <laughs> like <laughs> he's not even responding to their stupid shit. He has the willpower to just fucking stand back there. He could, fu he could fucking, he could bend those bars in half and go beat them with them. But he just, <laughs> he, he's, he's calm and collected. So yeah, you know, this guy walks away and they start filming other people. They go back and harass the cops some more and it's pretty pathetic and that's about it for the video. But you know, that's, that's, consider that that is just the first of many videos. Chat, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> I have so much to show you and I intend to look for some new stuff as well. Uh, I'd like to now direct your attention to Hero Cop.
We, this is Hero Cop. You see him in the thumbnail. This is our boy. Now, this begins with these two assholes, Monkey, Monkey and Bao, sleeping in their car. Uh, Bao asked numerous times if they needed to move and they were not allowed. Then Officer Tyrant shows up to stir the pot and the plot thickens. Um... So I don't know if these are the same guys from before who were causing trouble, but uh, yeah, these are like literally people, fucking vagrants sleeping around in their cars in the street, which, I mean, that's against the law, I'm pretty sure. It depends on where you live, uh, but yeah, that's like vagrancy or something. They even say later in the video that they don't have their ID, I'm pretty sure, so it's like, how? first of all, how are you driving if you don't have your ID, but second of all, like... Yeah, I, I know there's some places in the States, someone mentioned a little while ago, I mentioned I tried to go on a trip and I went to Va I, I went to Vancouver and I forgot my fucking ID. And someone mentioned like, yeah, where they live, like, if you don't have your ID, that's they can just arrest you for that. Like, it's just vagrancy. And so, you know, these these guys are breaking the law. Make no mistake, like, it might be a little bit dumb that they can be con te technically breaking the law just by sleeping on the sidewalk, like, sleeping in their car, you know what I mean? But, imagine if you lived there, you wouldn't want to see people, these weird shifty guys, like, sitting there sleeping in their car on the side of the road. They've got all this, like, surveillance fucking equipment and cameras and everything. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it starts to make a little more sense, but let's watch. Yeah, yeah, do we need to move? Open the door. Do we need to move? Open the door. For what? What crime do you suspect us of committing? This man, okay. Now this officer here, he's not hero cop, but he's also cool. He, this is probably like, again, this is someone who's never dealt with this sort of shit before. And he's just like trying his best to navigate whatever's going on here. And he's like, hey, there's these two weirdos sleeping in their car. Somebody probably called it in like, oh, my oh, my days, there's some ruffians outside. And she called and, you know, this guy shows up and he's just like, hey, uh, license and registration. And they're like, what crime do you suspect us of committing, officer? We're not doing anything suspicious. And, uh, <laughs> you know. As a policeman, you probably start to ask some questions. Listen, there's two guys sleeping in the car. What crime is that? That's not a crime. All right. What crime is that? Do you have an ID? I have a big bag. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Good one, bro. Really got him on that one. Do we need to move? No? Then you need to get in your car and it's leave. Cool. Have a nice day. All right. I'm just getting some shot out, man. We don't want any trouble. All right. Good? No, you, you misunderstand. You don't need to move because you need to wait until the cops come and talk to you. I'm trying to find out what you guys are doing here. We just I'm told you what we're doing here. You. you guys live here? Huh? Man, I, come on, man. I'm just, I, I told you I was sleeping. It's a question I'm asking. <coughs> and oh, it's man, a question I'm, we're not answering. I'm trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get you on your way. Me on my way. Yeah, I'm trying to get you on your way. I know you got a call or whatever. Again, imagine you're a police officer and you show up and this guy's like, yeah, I'm just trying to get you to move along, bro. Like, we don't want to have a problem here, do we? I know you got your like emergency call about weirdos in a car or whatever, but like, we don't want to have we don't have any issues now, do we? And you're just you're just sitting there like, man, I I could have been involved in a shootout today or something way less stupid than this. Dude, check okay. on, I'm just telling you, I just got tired. And I, I pulled over and I slept. Yeah, that's all there is to it. There's nothing to investigate. You good? You have ID? No, man, I'm not giving you nothing, bro. You're not giving me your ID? I'm not giving you shit, man. I'm trying to be nice to you. Give me your name and ID. I'm not giving you shit, and I'm trying to be nice to you. That's why people, that's why me and my part, my bro and my car are just like, no, oh, you big bag of go fuck yourself, or whatever. Yeah, we're just trying to be nice, bro, and cooperative. Officer Chevalier, ID 0259. Thank you. Have a nice night, Officer Chevalier. Give me one second. Yeah, you ain't getting any more seconds. We're done with you. Have a nice night. You guys are not free to go. You're not free to go. <laughs> no, you! <laughs> like, are you actually seven? Is this me when I took my parents' car for a joyride when I was seven? I did that. Uh, I, I tried to. Uh, I wound up driving into a wall, and then uh, my dad told me we couldn't go to Marine Land, which was really upsetting, actually. Um, Asking people for sleeping on the fucking sidewalk. 
Yeah, yeah. that's illegal. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe I'm just fucking first world privileged or whatever. But yeah, like, you know, it's un- unfortunate that a lot of people are homeless. I hope never to be homeless myself. But yeah, a lot of people don't really want to wake up and have winos sleeping on their fucking stairway. Like, what are you? Yeah, that's a crime. <laughs> what are you talking about? Public area. A public area. You get that light out of my face. I like that two people in chat uh, directly right after one another said, Not Marine Land! Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves Marine Land, but not the dolphins that they torture and not me. <laughs> I called backup. Oh, here comes the backup. You guys, Bob? No. Okay, so they're getting out of the car. And backup is about to arrive. Chad, I would like to introduce you to Hero Cop. I am. Oh, strong opening. <laughs> Sir, please let me know that you're recording all of the dumb shit you're doing right now. You are? Thank you. So again, this is Hero Cop. We need to build a statue for this man. I'm recording this okay. in its entirety. Did he inform you not to get out of the car? Sir, I'm allowed. Uh, no, you are not. Sir. No, not Listen, when you are sir. loitering. Okay, this man has probably dealt with this shit before. Loitering and prowling. We're not loitering Understand and prowling. It. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do we have to live oh, in this yeah, neighborhood? Oh, yeah, it does. It no, does. It doesn't. Matter, yes, it does. I'm, I'm Do you understand the devil? Hush. 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 Hush, you fuck. Who are you talking to like that? Do you understand the law of loitering? Do you understand what the First Amendment is? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so then me getting out to document is not a document. No, I couldn't. I couldn't see what you guys did. Yes, you had your camera out. Sir, sir, please. Let me be clear about that. Let me be clear. You guys can search. Okay, so now note note the fucking gibbering retard in the background who's just like, yeah, I'm fucking take your job. How about that? Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you stupid little bitch. I hate you. It's just this like fucking it's like literally like the peanut gallery who just won't shut the fuck up okay, and see no, that. I, don't I don't have i don't need to touch you okay you don't need to touch me what i do need to tell you is this stupid loitering and prowling we were you're a stupid motherfucker he just keeps going it's great being in a place at an unusual time yes it does don't tell me i've been doing this job no. for 20 yes it does don't tell me you fucking fucking i love this man he he needs a medal Dude, Dude, and we've proven numerous times tonight already that you guys don't know the law listen to me objection you dumb motherfucker objection you dumb motherfucker qualified not loitering is probably shut the fuck up no it doesn't dumb motherfucker god this this guy sounds like a fucking I listen. Listen. I I I I know I do the voice, the America for Homer Free, whatever. Like I know I said earlier these people are like rednecks, but this is truly like uh y'all dumb motherfucker. Y'all arrested me once for fucking my chickens. Like this is this is some Deep South energy. I really like this. Be in a place at a time that is unusual. So, for sir, that area. Sir, sir, so, when I come up to this. Man, when that guy shouted objection, it reminded me of the Kit Boga, like, scam court trial. <laughs> and the scammer was just like, objection overruled. <laughs> it was great. You didn't come up. He came up. When I come up to this court. You didn't court, come up to this. He came up. It does not matter. When I come up to this court and I see you in this court. Okay, get your supervisor out here. Morning, get your supervisor out here. Let me speak to your manager. Get your supervisor out here. Somebody, people in chat earlier were like, oh, these are like male Karens. Literally, they're like male Karens. They want to speak to the manager. They they want to like have some kind of fucking power over people that are just doing their jobs. I don't need to. You do. I'm no, request. I'm I'm formally requesting your supervisor. Okay. So please get your supervisor. I'm <laughs> Okay, I'm ignoring you. It's great. This man needs a fucking gold medal. Absolutely. Okay, so our Officer Maribato. Maribato. Do you have ID on you? I don't. So you're not in this neighborhood, so you may be case in course. No, I'm not. How do I know that? Because we told you're him not what we willing, were doing. No, 
You're I don't have to answer to show me. You know what the Fourth Amendment says? Absolutely. I know. Okay, then I don't know a lot of things. No, you don't. But you know what? You know, you have two choices. You have two choices. You have two choices. I can either wait. I can either arrest you for whatever you're probably. Okay. Because you're not. When I get your bitch ass on the stand, at this point in time, you are not relieved. When I get your bitch ass on the stand, the prosecutor is going to say objection. Just just let that one simmer for a moment. Just consider what the <laughs> consider the ramifications of how stupid that was. <laughs> oh my god. My fear that you made do something illegal. Well, I don't have to. It's your job to prove that Actually, I'm doing no, something illegal. Right. Technically, it is not. Yes, it is. Read the law. You should you read, read the law. law about that. You should and read the law. It is your You're call what you want to do. You're not qualified to read shit. You're stupid as fuck. You're cool what you want to do. Yeah, 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 you're stupid. Yeah, you're a stupid asshole. <laughs> I call him a stupid asshole, Bubba. Uh, 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 I get to suck your dick later, right? I know you're not qualified to do shit. You ain't qualified to do shit. Oh, so you'd violate yeah, rights is what you do. Hmm? Yeah, you gotta find out. You ain't qualified to do shit, you stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> I love how he just changed from, like, southern, like weirdo to like a, a like a like a nerd like a like a like like one of my types of people you know you, you stupid motherfuckers just like <laughs> the, the end of that was great the fuck out of here not here. Damn, prowling. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's the one who patrols the streets way, every now, night. Now he just stepped across the line recording it, just so you understand. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He used his First Amendment. If you don't like the First you know, Amendment, you can leave. Loudly at night. That's again. fine. That's yeah, that's again. They're screaming in the middle of like a probably like a, it looked like a pretty residential street or whatever. They're just out there fucking screaming at police officers. People are trying to get shut eye. There's some guy that works at the nuclear plant. These people could be inver inadvertently responsible for a disaster tomorrow. And you know what? Thanks a lot, Mon Monkey and Bao. He's allowed to, no, he's no, allowed he's to not. express himself. No, he's not. No, no, disturbing the peace would be cursing you out. You stupid motherfucker. Federal subpoena. Sorry, motherfucker. So you don't like him to arrest him? Yeah. You don't like me? Like these nuts, bitch. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that one. Like these nuts, bitch. I just... So you don't like him to arrest him? Yeah. You don't like me? Like these nuts, bitch. This is truly outstanding. This is the greatest YouTube video. We found it, ladies and gentlemen. Chill out, man. Chill out, man. Sir, you live... Chill out, man. You went too far when you started mentioning your nuts. A little bit more level-headed. <laughs> Okay, so this continues for a bit, and the guy the, this guy winds up coming back. Get your ignoramus friend and you. Like, Get your ignoramus friend you and you. On SDA. Excuse you? On SDA. No, no, what'd you call us? I said your ignoramus friend Okay, and now you. I want your fucking supervisor. Oh, you're in trouble now, hero cop! You, you, you decided to react to our clear provocations. And, you know, that's the real thing is that, like, you know, all joking aside, clearly what these people are doing, they want they want the reaction. They want to get this guy to say something that isn't 100 percent like robot professional and actually be a human and respond to these people being the hugest pricks alive and wasting everybody's time. And then they can get the fucking upper upper victory or whatever, and they can be like, oh, oh I'm, I provoked you. <laughs> and I don't understand how the fucking idiots that watch this kind of content are like, oh, man, you're so right. You're just out there defending the fucking Constitution or whatever the fuck they think they're doing. They're literally just being dicks. A hundred percent just being dicks. Like, that is the fucking ammo. That is the job description of these assholes, is just being cunts. And, 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 like, technically very, very, very on a technicality getting away with what they're doing. It's, it's amazing to me that, like, apparently, you know, you, again, you look at the like ratio here. Let's take a moment to look at the comments. I can only imagine how bad this would have been if they weren't recording. Those cops were fools. The Oompa Loompa is joke. They always sound like a broken record. Uh, 
Uh, in what universe do you have any concept of where you're allowed to curse me out? Um, we're the United States of America. Classic. I love it. Uh, I can't tell you how many times this has happened to my GF and I while we were homeless. Thank you for exposing this. Sleeping isn't a crime. Neither is filming. Yeah, sleeping on, like, a public street with in your car and, like... Being there in the middle of the night and having all this fucking weirdo equipment like those other guys with the monopod and everything, like, yeah, you're going to raise suspicion and people don't like that. What do you what do you want? Like it all it all comes back to it comes back around where it's like, OK, yeah, sure. You technically have the right to film or whatever, but they also technically have the right to be like uh, upset with what you're doing and want you to leave. Like, you know, if it's a free America and all the rest, like what, what do you, I don't know, man. I don't know what point you're trying to make. Uh, always post the tyrants information, both in the, both in the video title and the video description box. Yeah, you want to make sure we know who to call about building the statue to Hero Cop. Funny how the cop doesn't keep the same energy when his superior rolls up. Oh, that's still to come. Uh, yeah, I mean, for whatever reason, all of these idiots in the comments are just like, Oh, yeah, man, you stand your ground, homie. And it's like, you're just being an asshole. Like, the, it, at least admit the entire point of this is just to be a giant fucking loser. Who are you to insult anybody? We weren't doing anything wrong but sitting in a car, sleeping, protect ourselves, keeping off you the streets. You have the entire recording, right? I have the entire Including thing recorded. you cursing us. I have me cursing him out, too. Yeah, exactly. So because you know because you're acting and like I'm, an asshole. And let me ask you a question. In what universe do, do you have any concept of where you're allowed to curse me out? We're in the, names, we're in the United States. And able to do it to you. Because you're a public servant. We're, we're in the United... Fuck you, you idiot. Excuse oh! Okay, I, I, I press the I press the soundboard and the song isn't happening. That's unfortunate. But yeah, uh, that's great. That, that is wonderful. We're and in the me United States. Be able to do it to you because you're a public servant. We're, We're in the United. Fuck you, you idiot. Excuse you, motherfucker. Exactly. Right. Now, now you're fucking trying to inst inst instigate. Oh, I'm not instigating. You, you are. You. No, you're just a being. A oh, now you're trying to fucking instigate. Yeah, you. <laughs> The, the absolute hypocrisy on display of being like, oh, you asshole. Now you're just trying to instigate something like while well, you're standing here with your bitch boyfriend just being like, and your mother's a whore and your sister's a whore. And just like fucking shut up. No, no, no. I'm so Maraboto, to your level. you, 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 you shouldn't though, think it's okay. but, but you Why? see as a police officer, Why? you shouldn't Who because aren't you, guys, aren't you guys supposed to be the finest and the best of the best of the citizens? Again, I this is that thing where they're like, hey, I know I'm a fucking scumbag, degenerate, pawn scum loser, but you're supposed to be better than me, bro. How dare you get a reaction out of me clearly trying to provoke you what the fuck bro you mad this is essentially you mad in real life this is some guy on the internet being like a troll but just in reality just like you mad bro you mad you 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 gotta you gotta get angry bro are you having problems you know, fucking like <laughs> i have to relate to the people i'm speaking to you have to relate to the people well no you don't know how to repeat like to this. the people that you that you you need me listen, to talk to you in the same I've had fashion three, that you no i don't i need so, you to start giving us respect. this guy is like clearly just trying to explain to them yeah well you know i tried to be nice to you but you are acting like cunts and now i need to respond to you like a cunt so here i am i wasn't oh, even talking to you uh yeah this is a great part Listen, talk to you in the i've had three no i don't i need so you to start giving us respect I, I need you to start giving us respect i wasn't no, even talking to you. you he's the one no fuck you showed up fuck you Why i don't need I respect to... you who the fuck are you who... oh, i love this man this is hero cop ladies and gentlemen Oh, this man is great. Who the fuck am I? I'm a fuck. I'm your goddamn employer. I can't imagine. Oh, I'm your employer. I pay a whole fucking twelve dollars in taxes every year, you asshole. I'm an empl I'm your employer while I'm sitting out here sleeping in a car. Yeah, I don't think you pay a lot in the way of taxes, buddy. But like, yeah, uh, this man. This fucking absolute based legend. I no, you're not. Yes, I no, am. See, that's you, work the, that's you work for the. You work for the city. You work. You don't pay for this city. You don't live in this city. How do you know? Because you, you just told me, unless you're a liar. Are you a liar? I don't have to fucking tell you any truths. You just told me. But I don't are have you to tell. A liar? I don't oh, have to so tell any truths. You can lie. Listen, I'm not the one who took a job where the Supreme Court has ruled that you're allowed to lie. 
Exactly. So, so you did. You know what? But you and did. There you go. So you're allowed and, to and lie to again. And now you're standing here trying to instigate. And this it. is the thing where like these guys seem to have this weird like I guess they have a grudge with the cops. When we were watching this last night, we were wondering because the first person we saw, that furry potato person, it seems like they're an antifa. Remember, like they were, they were all talking about the Trumpsters or whatever, and. You know, you get the sense, okay, they seem to have a problem with the police, they're Antifa, maybe this is like some kind of advanced acceleration of like the ACAB people or whatever, but no, I mean, a lot of these people are like weird First Amendment people, which is like, which is like usually one of those right wing wacko like ANCAP kind of people, like that kind of thing, don't violate my NAP and all of that, uh, and uh, you know, it really makes you wonder where the this is like just a realm of apolitical kooky anarchy where they seem to like hate the cops but it 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 doesn't really have anything to do with like police brutality or whatever it seems to have like more to do with i don't know personal grudge i i, I don't know but then there are also like these first amendment people and I, 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 it's very bizarre. Like, I, it's like Neil Breen levels of just like weird, whatever, just a, apolitical fucking chaos. Intimidate. I'm not intimidating you. I yeah, you I'm are. not intimidating. You're wearing a belt of death standing less than three feet in front of You're wearing a belt of death. And this man, this man has the understandable reaction of just fucking death standing less than three feet in front of yeah, get the fuck out of here, you fucking joke of a man. <laughs> fucking joke of a man. You little Oompa Loompa. Yeah. Sergeant, uh, sir, I'm sorry about our in initial interaction. You have belts of death and shitty attitudes. Yes, I do. Yeah, you do. Belts of death. This is uh, incredible. Get a fucking another job, you fucking disgrace to the uniform. Hey, remember, I served 13 months for this fucking country. Hey, remember, man, I got a, I got a, I got a dishonorable discharge for fucking that land of mine. Are you leaving? And this is where he starts to try to, like, appeal to them as, like, a person. Just, like, as on a man-to-man, -man, like, like, human-to-human -human level of, like, listen... Listen, can you just can you just cut the bullshit for three seconds and listen to me? And they they seem to refuse. Uh, weren't you leaving? You were and, leaving, right? But I want to clarify something. Well, I don't need because your I don't I don't need your speeches. Are you decent to your thoughts? I just want you to respond to one thing. Okay. If you have any decency as a man, as a man, hey, look. He's here. Now, if you have an addition to the man, oh, he's just going back. It will be. Oh, no, it's the supervisor. In its right. entirety, including your. Hey, you know what? Go on YouTube.com. And. <laughs> <laughs> this is just this guy being like, hey. Just go on YouTube. Just put me. Where, yeah, there you go. Just put put this whole thing unedited on the internet. Fucking go, brother. Fucking try it. If you have any decency as a man, just put it online with all your responses to me and the record will fucking show who's the real asshole here. And yeah, based fucking hero cop strikes again. This man, this, this man. YouTube.com, look up Monkey 83 your bitch ass will be on there in about 20 minutes. I will waste my time with that. Well then don't fucking tell me what to do, asshole. With my recordings. It's my documentation. I don't give a shit either. Yeah, I know you don't, you fucking sick <sighs> bitch. Now it sounds like he says a slur there. I would really love it if they went into like into like weird hate slur territory, which I mean, that's another whole that's another whole bag of tricks really when it comes to like testing your first amendment rights and what counts as free speech and everything. Personally, I don't really think that a, a lot of words that exist should be given as much power as they're given uh, by people that seem to be terrified of language. But uh, that being said, a lot of people seem to have problems with certain words. And so, uh, you know, it sounds like my documentation. I don't give a shit either. Yeah, I know you don't. You fucking sick bitch. Sounds like he says the big old F slur. But I think he actually just says sack of shit. It's it's unfortunate. I'd love for one of these people to slip up and just uh oh, accidentally you did a hate crime. Go back to the start. Do not pass go. Sir, are you the supervisor? Okay, so I mean this continues. We wind up getting the supervisor in here who looks like he belongs in a fucking wrestling promo. 
this like fucking six foot eight meat wall of a man just shows up and it's pretty great. Uh, but we're going to move along. There's, there's a lot more to see. And, uh, that was, that was them messing with these fucking guys. Uh, now I would like to take you to probably my favorite, uh, auditor channel. Uh, this is one we'll probably be spending a while on tonight, chat. This is Caught You Slipping Audits. And this is a guy who, uh, well, listen, let's just watch this one. Caught You Slipping Audits here, here at the Australia Jail, Narapunga County. Now, this guy shows up at the jail. And, you know, he's got his camera and everything, and get, get out, fuck. he starts filming people's cars at random, and he walks, he starts walking in, he starts filming this guy. Wow. This is just a man who's sitting there looking at his phone, you know, like checking fucking Tinder or whatever. <laughs> These people are like, these people are like filming him. Or I say these people, in this video and most of his videos, it's just him being like a lone wolf weirdo. Uh, but once in a while, he'll have somebody else with him. But yeah, it's just this weirdo like filming this guy for no reason. What is this? What is this guy done? Get back to work. This guy's like off duty and the dude's just chewing him out for like doing nothing. I guess the guy finally notices him. I'm not sure if this person is on duty or off duty. But as we can see, he's getting out of his car. He noticed us. He doesn't like being recorded. He turned out on Oh, there is a second guy. There's a second guy. It's bizarre that there's like multiple guys with this dude because I mean you're gonna see why, why soon. So he keeps going and he keeps just like, just like filming this jail, and then he finds this lady. This is just some lady who works here. She's out on her smoke break. She's just chilling. Like nurse. See someone wearing a scrubs maybe. Nice. Come back. Come back. We gotta come back. So maybe this lady has noticed them. When I saw this before, I think we skipped past her, like, photographing them. But yeah, like, this is just some lady out there taking her fucking smoke break or whatever. And and they, these guys are fucking weirdly, like, voyeuring her. I, I don't know. I This channel has a very much more creepy energy. Uh, Arizona auditor man is like a, is like a, a weird, like, he's like a, a tiny little badger filled with anger and gumption. Uh, and this, this is just some weird creeper, uh, based on what I've seen. I love it. That's the only re- oh, looks like she's calling the papa. She got on her phone, she got the Karen stance. You do not want to start throwing around the K word, bro. Listen, you listen. Listen, of all the people, of all the types of people to be throwing around the fucking K word, man. These these, these people are worse than Karens. I'm going to put that out there. I mean, yeah, like it sucks when a Karen shows up and she starts ruining some retail worker's day or whatever. But like these people... At least most of the time. In this case, this is just some lady who's trying to take a break or whatever. Later on, there's cops involved. There's, like, a whole bunch of people who, like, it's not even in their job description to have to fucking deal with, like, customer service with weirdos. You know what I mean? Like, they should be completely exempt from care and shit. And yet, they're, they're, they're forced to fucking deal with these people. Huh. Huh. That's the only reason I wanted this phone, just for the camera, so I can do this. Hello, I'd like to report a suspicious activity. There's some people recording us and 
It's making me feel uneasy. Uh, can you please send the police unit to come and check them out? I would really appreciate it. Thank you. That's pretty much what she said. That's pretty much what she said, guys. Thank you for the play-by-play, -play, Mr. Uh, Caught You Slipping Audits. This... I don't know, something about the high-pitched voice, it's it's getting worse. This video's getting worse. Uh, so, you know, they, he keeps filming her for a little bit, and then they move along, and this part happens, which is absurd. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when they uh, introduce me, <clears throat> can they introduce me as Joker? <laughs> you should have rights. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> detective over here. Uh, here's what? Officer Kyle Chandler. Oh, we got James Bond. He looks like a detective. He has a, a tie and all that. Those guys are very representable. So. Yeah, so they're just like bizarrely stalking people at this jail. And it gets worse. Uh, it, it gets much worse. There's, uh, there's, there's memes too. They got the memes, chat. They got memes. They got memes for days. Oh, come on. Play the video. What is this shit? Hello, I have rights. Okay, so that seems like a different, unrelated, crazy lady. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's an acceptable meme. She does seem like she's kind of I don't know something's up with her. But then we get into the real weird shit where we start to like f fucking film people here. Court. I can't tell if those people... Yeah, they want them to stop. So we need to get a shot of all of this. Yeah, we need to make sure we get a shot of all this. Yeah, so we got our boys here. And they're, like, dressed all shady with the hat and, like, the, you know, dressed all in gray. Yeah. Court hours. Filming everything. We really, it's important to film the court hours. Like, that's, that's really, yeah. Show me all the limitations on, you know, wearing masks and everything. Fucking, that's important. And so it keeps showing these people. They... The, they like he's trying to provoke them and wave at them and blah 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 and uh, it starts to get real interesting when he yeah oh I'm sorry girl I'm... oh I'm sorry girl I don't mean to bug you again get you strange that's it. it seems like this guy's got uh, an affinity for filming women, as we see here. Walks right up to this window and films these these people through the window. <laughs> Look at their fucking faces, chat. Look at this lady. She is very quizzical. This lady's terrified. This lady is just confused. And and indignant. Their faces. <laughs> the creepy laugh is what gets it for this guy for me. Are we back? And they start walking away, hiding from this man. Yeah, they're like, what the fuck? They're like, what the fuck? Because you're filming them without... Without any reason or like... <laughs> I mean, let alone consent, you're like a bizarre man standing there s fucking snickering and filming them. Of course they're walking away. 
I need to get one of those. Maybe we can see him from in here. Now he's like literally trying to follow them. He's like, maybe we can see him from in here. They walked away from me, but I will be able to watch the ladies. Is this not the most uncomfortable thing you've seen in a while, chat? Like, be oh, honest. The little creep. The little turn around eye creep type of look they gave me. Yeah, because you're being a fucking creep. This is some fucking high level creepo energy, dude. <laughs> He's so happy with this. Like, like they noticed him. The 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 ladies noticed him, and it get got his PP hard. You know, none of them will accept his messages or respond to his texts. But but when he looks at them through the window, then they notice him. <laughs> I don't mean to scare people, but... Are you sure? Are you sure you don't mean to scare them? So you start watching people in here. Oh yeah, this part's great. There's like this guy with his hand on the table. The metal detector. Or it's a lady, okay. I like that ring though. Look at that camera. Look at that camera, chat. Now, I don't know, maybe this is like a ring that's secretly a camera, but uh, probably not. Probably this guy saw a ring and assumed that it was like a secret fucking government Illuminati camera or whatever is in his tiny little brain. Uh, so, you know, yeah, this man is fully crazy, uh, allegedly. Again, not a bully stream. We, we don't know, but. Clutch. Clutch. <laughs> I'm going to stop bugging these people. Let's no, let's go bug other people. A tour of the beautiful day. Truck wash, huh? You got a truck wash over there? Now this is this is weird because this guy also seems to like to harass people at truck washes. So I don't know why that's a thing, but uh. Now, just just bask in this like ASMR of this man like waddling over to this fucking car as it drives away. This person just minding their business. You could hear the wind blowing, the sounds of regret. It doesn't have to be like this, Good but it's for, about uh, to be. Employees go in, they scan their badge. Must gonna come video this. Highly uncomfortable. Because you don't know what these fucking people are doing while they're, like, filming this shit. This guy's got this creepy fucking laugh. Like, for all we know, he's jerking off to these women's reactions to him right now as we speak. And that's probably what a lot of these people think is, like, why is this psycho filming me? Is he, like, a sex weirdo or something? And that's probably what they're what's going through their heads. And for all we know, they're right to think that. Oh, they got your truck washes over here. Look. Yeah, so the truck washes and whatever, and then he goes. It's just following the truck people. Got some trash. Is there anything else in this one? This is like a very nondescript video in this channel. It barely, like, like this, like the title of it is just like huge Australia jail, juvenile court, superior court audit and tour. Like there's not much going on in the title. It's not one of the ones where he pretends that he's been like assaulted by the cops or whatever. What's going on here? Do you have any money? You think this is funny, man? Or an Uber? 
to where your car is. Huh? This guy's slapping over here. Can you look through your stuff and see if you got any? So these guys are trying to deal with this like vagrant lady who's crazy or whatever, and this guy's just like, hey bro, badge number, name a badge number, or or whatever. Uh, we're gonna move along from that one, and we're gonna take a look at uh, let's see, the most popular here. Uh, ah, okay, this is a good one. Uh, this is a good one. Raw body. Rob body camera of unlawful arrest. Or wait, no. Is that the right one? No. Okay, so there's two versions of this. This is the better one. Kidnapped, assaulted, and battered by police twice. One AA tyrants found Maryvale Precinct Station. Welcome, fellas. So this is him out in the dead of night in, like, fucking downtown Arizona or whatever. Downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Just, like... Just, like, stalking this fucking premises. You know, everybody else is off doing shit and being with their fucking families or whatever. And this guy is just out here stalking the place like a fucking vampire. The, the definition of casing the joint. And that's fine, though. It's fine. And to be fair, like, yeah, you know, it's perfectly within his rights to be out there, technically. You know, doing what he wants, going for a walk or whatever, but... I mean, it's very clearly, it's very clear that people like this have more of an agenda than that, and we'll get into that. It starts for a while here. Skip for police encounter, 25 minutes. So yeah, for a while here, he's just kind of walking around. He's, he's casing the joint, as I say. He's looking through the neighborhood, reading their shit, going into their fucking, like, yeah, there's a good part here where he, like, he like walks into this building or something. Weapon into this building. Police person. Again, it's like the fucking dead of night. It's like midnight or some shit. And he's just out here like formal personal de la estación. Reading their shit like it matters. Like who cares? And he's just in here. What possible reason could he have to be like loitering in the premises like this other than causing trouble? Pretty uh, small lobby. If you ask me. There you go. The posture on wanted prescriptions here. We all know we have that cabinet full of them. You guys don't use them? Give them back. I'm just there, sitting there for nothing. I don't know. It's up to you guys. What the fuck is he saying? We all know we have a cabinet of bizarre prescription drugs or something. What is what does he say? Is he admitting to owning like illegal drugs or <laughs> something? What's going on there? I don't know. That's very strange. Is it open? Oh yeah, it is open. Yeah. You guys can see it's pretty well uh, kept and maintained, pretty good. Wow. He's yeah. like raiding their bathroom. Bathrooms are good. Hello. Hello, Dragon Ball shirt. Guy looks like Mr. Girl. Gotta wear my uh, speaking of Mr. Girl, uh, he, he made a sh another shittier rap video. And I'm not going to watch it or whatever on stream. Uh, it's worse than the first one. The first one was kind of funny. Uh, if you set aside the fact that it's him. Uh, the second one is just bitter and weird. Uh, but he tags me. I'm even in the lyrics. I think the line is like, so shoe on head, dead wing and moist hypocritical. Uh, so I'm I'm up there. I'm uh, We out here. M Mr. Girl has officially... <laughs> <laughs> knighted me into some kind of community, but, uh, yeah, uh, uh, not gonna be, get, he clearly just wants attention, although, I, again, it's one of those things where it's like, man, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you're trolling, that doesn't make it better, though, it's, he, he's on the level of the, the, the Phil Marillion guy, like, yeah, you, you might have, this might have all just been a funny haha, -ha, but you're, you're just an asshole, I don't know. Oh, coronavirus. But. Solid witness. 
you ever want to be a silent witness to the crime, you, you don't want to be recognized or anything, give this number a call. Yeah, and so he just is, like, in this place being weird and stalking their shit, and it's very... It's it's very bizarre, but the really good stuff begins around 25 minutes here. Oh. How are you tonight? Silent treatment. Silent treatment. <laughs> See, we're going to be like five-year-olds and not respond to them. <laughs> it's, it's, it's based. It's actually very epic. You doing okay? I'm Sergeant Katz of Phoenix Police Department. Can I help you with anything this evening? No, sir. If you don't have any official police business and you don't need our help, I would ask you to step into the park, please, and off the um, city property. Is that something you're willing to do for me, please? No. And how come? You don't know? This guy is acting like such a fucking baby, dude. I cannot imagine how these people can get the the idea that, oh, yeah, you really showed him by going out there and acting like a fucking four-year-old and, and like, smugly not saying anything. Wow, what are you going to do next? The I'm not touching you? Well, amazing. Amazing. You got him, bro. What is the purpose of you filming this evening? Name a batch number? I'm sorry? Name a batch number? Sergeant Carnes. Badge number. Uh, it's right there on my badge. You can't uh, see. I'm, I'm very blind, man. Trust All me. All right, it's 8714. Thank I'm you. I'm very blind, man. Trust very me. Much. I'm very blind. I understand. So I appreciate oh. you engaging me in conversation now. What is your name? It's weird how long the silent treatment didn't last. I mean, it, it took a while. So I showed you some respect, and, and we're having this conversation. You are on police property. You, this you guy is being as nice as possible, chat. Like, again, if this is a video that's attempting to, like, expose the evil, corrupt cops or whatever, it's showing me a man who's like, Hey there, how's it going tonight? Okay, you're not going to talk to me? All right, then. Uh, well, you know, if you don't have any business, your David Bash number, uh... Uh, well, you know, my badge is right there. David badge number! Uh, okay, it's, it's, I'm, uh, John Smith, badge number one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know, okay, so I'm glad that we're talking now, mister. Uh, <laughs> you know, now we're having this conversation, and it's just like, this guy trying to be as nice as possible, he's got his fucking hands behind his back, like, humbling himself to this guy. I don't, I, if this is supposed to make me feel like this cop is being the asshole here, I am not getting that. Uh, in indication. State that you have any business with the police. Name and badge. So, with that being said, name and badge. If the badge! Tell if you're who you're talking to. Name and badge. The badge! Right, 6028. Name and badge. The badge! 10365. Thank you very much. Name and badge. Name and badge! It's like. Was this man dropped on his head as a baby? Like, le legitimately. Thank you very much. So, if there is something I can help you with, I'd love to help you. If you don't have any reason to be here, if the police matter, I would ask you to step into the pocket, please. And again, I, we all let you know our names. And I can kind of appreciate what you're doing. And I'd like to engage in some conversation, but you're not really speaking to me. I don't want this guy is even being like more polite than he should be. He's like, yeah, I mean, I appreciate what you're doing. You stand because I get it, you know, on a certain level, you know, I know there's probably one asshole in chat who's like, oh, he's just a fucking shill or whatever. But like, no, I mean, I get it. You're exercising your fucking free right to whatever. I, I understand what you're trying to do. And there's like a way that you could possibly do something like this. And it might be okay. There's a way you could potentially do something like this and not be a huge prick about it. But this is, this ain't it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, man, you're dismissed. You're, you're dismissed! Good. Good so that's the thing, no. I have to, I have to stay here and see what's going Am on. I detained? I have a... Am I detained? Obligation. Am I detained? Am I being detained?! You are free to leave, please, if you I'm like to go stay. ahead. Thank you. But that's the thing, you can't stay here. 
You don't have to. You, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So. By all means, you can go into the park. Um, but if you don't have any police business, if you don't need us for anything or to make a police report, you can't stay on this property. So we're going to ask you one more time. It's time to leave if you don't have if you don't need our help. Well, who's the supervisor here? Me and then him. Okay, so you should know this is legal, right? Yeah, you're you're okay to be in the park if you if you want to film whatever you want. How do you do. know I don't have police business right now? I, I'm telling you what what our policy is, and this is legal. If you don't have, no, you get that fucking like that that real shit where it's like, do you have any police do you have any police business here? Uh, maybe I do. What's your problem though? And then when they're like, so if you don't have any business here, well, how do you know I don't have any police business here, bro? It's, it's it literally it's like answering questions with fucking other questions and dodging the question and just being the the biggest cunt possible. Any business here? You need to leave. Not a lawful order. Thank you, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. Oh, you're dismissed. Oh, he got him, guys. Guys, he used the real life cheat code to remove his one star wanted level. That's what you do. That's how. That's how he did it. It's like they're they're all gonna go home tonight and be like curses. He got us. This is basically a man with the preacher superpower of like Genesis. He could just tell them to drop their guns and they'll all just do it. Thank you very much. So, you should be. You should know better. So I respect. You could you do better. better. And I'd like a little bit of respect that I'm giving you. Nah, man, you can make me very wrong. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. You lost my respect. I'm not, if, I'm not gonna long. If you don't no more. have police business. And you do want to stay here. We will have to get your identification. Have a nice night. Go in the wrong way, brother. The park. And now here we have this fucking stupid, again, it's another fucking dumb legal loophole thing that they use to be an asshole. Oh, it's a fire hydrant, so it's city grounds or whatever the fuck. I'm pretty sure you can have a fire hydrant on private property. I'm just going to put that out there. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not a, a, even a thing, but, like, maybe in Arizona where they still fucking drink water from wells, you know, who knows. Shoutouts to my Arizona Park is viewers. Up that way. So, time to leave. You're not gonna kick me out, I'm sorry. You're dismissed, though. Oh, You're I'm dismissed! You can't dismiss us. We're on our own property here, dear. Right. Yeah, I am, too. So he's on his prop his own property too, because again he pays a whole ten dollars a month in taxes. Okay, so clearly he owns this entire police station and all of their lives and their wives and children. So that's how it works. Welcome to the fucking democracy. Since you do want to stay, I will need to identify you. Do you have any identification with you? You suspect me of a crime? Uh, yes, at this point in time, I do. What crime? Uh, you are loitering. You are trespassing. Loitering. And trespassing. you are in. Loitering, trespassing, and city property, eh? And city property. This guy, that's a, a fucking s ditch water level intelligence right here. Uh, yeah, you, you can be loitering and trespass. Well, maybe not. Tre well, actually, yeah. If it's private city property, then yeah, you can trespass on like a fucking, I don't know, st you know, storage shed or whatever, like a power building or some shit like that. And you can be loitering very easily. There's signs all over the place in parks or whatever that tell you not to loiter past a certain period in the night and shit like that. And this is pretty clearly not like just city property. This is the police station. So I, I again, I don't even get the point that these idiots are trying to make. A, uh, a city property and okay. you don't have any reason wow. to be there at this point. Wow. I'm amazed. Uh, what's your reason? Are you detaining me? I can't hear you. Am I detained? Uh, you're going to be, if we're, we're going to give you one more warning, you need to leave. It's time to leave or you're going to be detained. You can, you'll be detained for trespassing. You are being detained, friend. But this is public property. This here is actually police property. If you don't have any business right. here, you have Funded to be. by the taxpayers, right? Nah, bro, it's got a fire hydrant. That's my real life cheat code, bro. You can, nah, -uh, can't touch this. I still can't hear you. There's a sign right there, says no trespassing, sir. And, and the throwing the light in the eyes is getting, getting old. Cutie pie, not going to lie. Just, just honestly.
Just truly bizarre. A truly, truly bizarre little man. I am very deeply uncomfortable watching this. I'm not doing nothing so, wrong. I'm okay, not doing so nothing we've wrong. Given you three I'm really warnings. not doing nothing wrong. So, okay. what, what, what are you guys? What, what are you guys tripping about? I'm not. I'm not There's doing no wrong. tripping. You, all you literally have to do is walk right across. What this does that have to do with anything? And though? you can go into a public park. Don't, don't get close to me, So please. if you don't go are you recording? to a public park, Absolutely. you're going to be... No, you're not. That's just off. You're, you're recording. So now you're just causing problems. So I would no, like to I ask need you to walk... So now you're just causing problems. This guy came over and he was so polite and he was like, yeah, you know, we're trying to have a conversation here and you're not talking to me. And now he's like, he's he's done. Then now he's done. And the thing is, is people will claim that, oh, this guy totally won. He didn't do anything wrong. And these cops started like trying to remove him or whatever. And it's like, again, you're just like overlooking all of the laws that this guy is breaking. Because that's what these people do is that they find some stupid fucking specific loophole. And in their earnest desire to fucking harp on that loophole forever they will overlook all of the other laws that say that they're trespassing and loitering and harassing people and unlawful whatever 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 because hey bro i'm on a fire hydrant it's fine across the street i need you to back away no i will not sir that, that what the what okay. are you guys doing it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 so, completely yeah. broke and shattered my phone. So you're recording. Now you're just causing problems. So I would no, like to ask you to walk across the street. I need you to back away. No, okay. I will not, sir. That, that needs what to the, okay. What are you guys doing? It's, yeah, it's, it's, what's it's, my break the camera? What's my break the camera? Wow, what are you guys doing? Let go, let go, let go. Let go. No, no. Somebody start the slow clap. Step back, step back. Oh, my God. Step back. No, my phone. Oh, okay. my, my this is what you love to see. You love to see it. You know, they finally decide to be like, this is how you should do it. It's like, yeah, we're going to react with, we're going to be polite to you and ask you politely to leave. And then if you don't, we are going to make you leave. Like, that's what, that's what you should be doing. Can we step him back for... You're being detained right now for trespassing. What trespassing? What? On public property? No, you're on public property. We already explained it here. Well, I love how this guy is going off about public property, and it's like, again, for all we know, that this is not at all public property. It is a police station. This is probably not public property, but, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna move along here. I'd like to take a look at a. Uh, oh, gee, what's another good one? Paranoid state Karens do the cr drive of shame and get educated. Uh, tyrants at Arizona work Department of e Economic Security. Cops get educated. Department of Economic Security. Tyrants. Isn't that like welfare? Okay, he got held against his will in this one. This is going to be great. Bro, back away, bro. What are you doing? We've even got... Are we really going to be sideways this whole video? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, retard? Oh my god. I'm not watching this. Jesus Christ. That is... That is some quality fucking content right there. Just turn your fucking monitor on its side and watch it. That's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very good. Uh, we're, we're gonna watch... Let's see. Uh, what's the other one? The, the other one where he's... Body cam footage of illegal stalking and harassing. That sounds good, but let's watch uh, the other one set in the work the work department of economic security. Welcome back, everyone. What? Speak up. Economic security. Oh no! Already? Come on, children. I just barely started. That was my intro. People are already taking pictures. I guess. Uh, we're here at Mountain View Road on 7th Street. Uh, we're going to do a first amendment audit. No, again, I, I mentioned this last night when I was watching this. Like, the only time I have ever heard the word audit used by anyone who was not, like, a tax guy or a bookkeeper is Scientology. 
That's all I'm gonna say. Just that's all the information I'm putting out there. You you think about what that what you will. See how it goes. Speak up! Beautiful flag up in the sky. You trash! Got the no trespassing on skateboards, roller skates, bicycles, roller base, scooters, motor, motorized or not. Again, like, I don't know what he gets by just, like, filming their fucking private property thing or whatever. But they're, yeah. No trespassing, no skateboards, whatever, violators will be prosecuted and blah, blah, blah. And I'm guessing what he's looking at here is the fact that it specifically says, like, skateboards, rollerblades, and other things like that. And maybe he assumes, oh, it's fine that I'm doing whatever I'm doing here because I'm not on a skateboard, my man. Which is pretty dumb, but whatever. We got the sights as well here. Yeah, this is literally like the employment office. And if you consider the places that this guy like hits up when he does this shit, he's going to like the employment office, the juvenile jail and other shit. And he's like, what's going on in your life, bro? You clearly don't have much going on. And that's why you do shit like this. You're probably getting arrested all the time. Because you do shit like this. What's going on, uh, big guy? What's what's happening? You, you all right? You, you need some help? Maybe you need to, like, stop doing crazy shit and just get a job and maybe go on some meds? I, I don't know. Uh, no weapons. the silent treatment he's gonna get him real good with the silent treatment again guys it's ironic that the freedom of speech people are trying their best to talk and say like i don't know say nothing and get a rise out of people uh you know I, again it's like it's the same thing where it's like you don't need to say anything specifically racist to be an asshole and prejudiced to someone like, yeah, whatever, hate speech, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But you can just be a dickhead to someone and not say any racial slurs to them. You know what I mean? And it's the same thing with this. Like, you can be a dickhead. You don't have to say a word. If you're specifically trying to be an asshole by not saying a word, then that's also a pretty stupid thing to do. I, I don't know. I just... Dismiss them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a story. Uh, I'm not allowed to do that here. Oh, why not? You're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry? You're gonna have to leave. You can't do that here. How so? You can't. It's just state property. You gotta have to actually leave. Yeah, this is a uh, public property. Oh, right? he got the memes here. He got the good memes from 2008. He's got the. He's got the that that girl memes. It's happening. Oh, uh, based. Based, bro. Not a state property. It's not about the state. We're gonna have Say property spot, uh, spot. You want to have to leave, sir. Uh, you dismiss, man. I'm good. On. I'm just, let me do my story. Don't leave. bug me. Don't leave. bug me again. Call the police. You can call them. Please leave the property. But why are you gonna call the police? I'm just please doing a story. The That's it. You can't do a story. Please leave the property. What's your name? Please leave the property. Again, just a guy trying to do his job. It would be very different if we at least got like video of these people being assholes to them a little more. But, like, every video I've seen so far has just been a guy, like, politely trying to dis disarm the situation. And this guy just being like, Yo, what's your badge number, though? Huh? Oh, what, what crime have I committed? Huh? 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 Am I, am I bothering you? Huh? It's, it's like, this is the, this is the real life equivalent of like when you're playing Morrowind and you need to kill some NPC and so you click the taunt NPC button until they eventually fucking break down and they kick your ass and then you can kill them. That's, that's what this is, but in real life. 
That is exactly what's happening. I'm doing a story. Can you do, let, let me do my story without interrupting me. You can't me. do a story here. You need to leave the property. What's your name? Leave the property. Hey, what's your name? What the? Oh, Lord. So we got weapons from that minute on this uh, facility. So, well, you also got to wear your mask. Um, I'm not sure if you're, it's mandatory to wear a mask. But, can't be on the property. Um, this guy's made contact. See, like, again, this is a guy, he's just standing. This isn't even a cop. He's just a guard. And this guy's giving him a fucking problem. Like, this guy is so dumb that he just sees this dude who looks vaguely like a police officer. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, what's your problem? What's your badge number, huh? You're not, he's not even a police guy. And, and this guy is just here doing his fucking job trying to guard the fucking like work offices for Arizona or whatever. Like the, you know, and, and he's expecting that all he needs to do is be like, yeah, you can't be here. Or get leave before the cops come. And that's going to work. He's expecting he's dealing with a normal human being who has like some fucking sense in their head. But he's dealing with one of these bizarre motherfuckers who's just here to, like, cause problems. And you can see the confusion forming where he's like, I, you're not allowed to be here. What are you doing? Leave. And they're not leaving. And he's just like, he's breaking down. If you touch me, my dude, touch don't Leave touch me, property. man. Leave the property. If you touch me, bro. Leave the property. I'm don't do it, man. Leave the property now. I'm doing a story, can you? I mean, if he touches you... He's the security guard, and he's telling you to leave. Like fucking try to w try to win that court case. Like, what are you, what are you smoking? Yeah, Holy yeah, shit! Yeah. I said leave the property. I don't care. I don't care what you said. I sir. said leave the property. I'm doing a story. I don't care. I told you to leave. What's now. your name? Why are you tripping balls? Because you're not allowed to be doing this off the property. Oh yeah, what what law is that? You're not from the news. Off the property. What? Are, I'm from the news, man. Off the property. I'm from the media. I'm doing a story, sir. You're not from the media. What's the credentials? Who are you to show my Let credentials? Let me see your credentials to? off the property. What's Who are you to show my, my credentials? Shut the fuck up, you little tiny person. What's your name? We haven't shown me who you, you haven't. You, you haven't told me who your name is, dude. You're not supposed to be on the property. Okay. You're gonna get educated. You're dismissed. Go you go back to, to work. Told yeah, name. that's right, chat member. He dismissed him. I don't know why this guy is still here. He should be off. Again, it's it's supposed to work like Preacher, where you just tell the guy to shove the gun up his asshole, and then he goes and does it, you know? Like, that's that's the way it's supposed to work, but... No, sir, it doesn't work like that. You need to leave. I'm sorry, sir. Well, but you're, you're dismissed. You're, you're, we'll no, you're dismissed. No, you're... We'll you're we'll no, you're dismissed. No, you're... We'll you're no, you're dismissed. No, you're dismissed. Oh, uh, it's priceless. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely priceless uh, that you are actually this uh immature uh that's 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 that, that's right i mean he's not wrong this is priceless this is utterly wonderful content oh no why would you waste your, 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 our resources like i'm that, not sir? wasting my resources i told you to leave the property you're not supposed why to who are you i gotta listen to Off. you're no one dude yes i am who i'm in charge of this building now. what's your name i'm not telling you oh you're in charge you don't want to tell me your name what a clown Come on, dude. Look at this guy. I just really got here. Do you think this man is, like, happy? Like, what do you think? Not the guard, but this, like, little bitch that's doing this. Like, do you think he's happy? He He's... Do you think he's good? I don't know. I was doing a story. I was still filming this science. And Mr. Security... Not know the law over here. Sir, I got some business here. I got some business here. You got business here. Get off the property. Hey, I got some business here. Look at this guy. Look at him. I got business, bro. What were you tripping? Get out. Leave. Oh my god. I, I'm doing a story for the news. Leave. You gotta relax, sir. You have to listen to credentials. Who are you to show you credentials to, my man? Off the field, off the property. Dude, let me do off. off no, no, off. no, no, no. You, you, you're just gonna walk away, dude. These are just people who are here trying to, like, get their resume in order and get a job. And this absolute prick is just like, 
No, bro, I don't need to give you my cadetra. Do I name and badge number? Just this fucking clown display of fucking... Uh, God, if anybody's mother should have learned to swallow, it's this guy. Okay, you're gonna get educated right now. You're gonna talk. I'm not trying to find no, no trouble, dude. Just let me do my story, okay? That's it. And that's the gentleman that came to take a picture. So. You're tripping, boss, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. What a guy. Look at this guy. So do they call the cops or like what's what's going on here? Oh, we got a lull. Oh, and he's locking it. Lol, priceless. We got the crying laughing emojis. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, what? It's 4.46, you guys close in 15 minutes. What are you guys doing? Like, do you believe that this guy is trying, do you think that he's like, he really believes in this shit, or do you think he's like J-Station, just trying to like get a reaction or whatever? Because I, I wonder with people like this, I wonder how many of them, some of them are probably genuinely like, oh, I gotta keep him honest. Uh, if I don't do it, nobody else will. And then there's probably the ones who are like the like I I get the strong sense from this guy that he he really just wants content for his shitty YouTube channel. I, I think that's what is going on here. Look at this guy's freaking out over nothing. <laughs> this is great. Hey, at least on this one, he isn't weirdly stalking women or whatever like he was doing before. Uh, so we're going to jump ahead here. I guess he starts leaving. Like, he, he le he or maybe he's walking around the premises or whatever, but then... Can I ask what you're recording this for? I'm doing a story on the, on the building. On the building? Yes, sir. What about the building? I'm doing a story. I can't, I can't, that's all I can say, sir. Can't say. Yeah, right. Have a good day, though. Love you. <laughs> this is this is this is incredibly. I don't know, man. I can we get this man? Like this is clearly harassment. This is very clearly. It's this is on the level of that plain potatoes guy. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. Just listening to him be like, Oh, I can't divulge that information, my man, but I love you, though. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, you tiny... Jesus Christ, I was going to call him a tiny man again. I mean that, but, like, I don't know. I need some new insults. I, I just... Have a great night. I just showed up very late. Well, McCaffrey, what do we make of this guy? Well, sir, he seems to be a fucking asshole. Yeah. I I I I I do declare you're right, McCaffrey. So the cops are finally here, and he's just so excited. He is shitting himself with excitement. Hello. What's going on? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good. And yourself? I'm doing well. That's good. So what's the uh, plan for today? Oh, I just uh, record. I was just doing a little tour of the building. You see what's, you know, so I can show the community what's around. Is this a class project or is this? Uh, I'm not, I can't disclose that information. But. Now again, you're the cop here, and you're trying. Like you probably for all I don't know. Maybe this guy's never heard of like sovereign citizens or freedom audits or whatever the fuck this stupid shit is. But you know, he's like trying to make heads or tails of this, and he's like rationally trying to figure out. Okay, what are you doing then? 
Is this like for a, an article or a, a class project? What is this? And this guy just keeps getting shadier and more bizarre and being like, oh, I can't tell you that. It's classified. Can I get your Neiman, uh, Neiman Batchman? Oh, Neiman Batchman! Snyder, 10441. Thank you, man. Uh, can I get yours? Huh? Your Neiman Batch, please. Roberts, 9415. Thank you. Hey, they want you trespass, man. That means you gotta leave and you can't come back, okay? Who, who wants me to trespass? It's so, it's so funny that he's he's got... She's trying to look tough, lol! While this guy spends his whole time trying to, like, look tough and be, like, like threatening to these people. Hey, uh, they want you trespass, man. That means you gotta leave and you can't come back, okay? Who, who wants me trespass? The, the property owner here. The property owner? Yeah. Or the security guard? Yeah. They want uh, you trespass, so you're gonna have to leave, okay? When did the security owner contact you? Or the, uh, or the or the the property owner contacted. What's your name? Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna give okay. you that. All right, that's yeah. fair. But you're gonna have to leave the property. So they're trying to trespass me. They are or, trespassing. But I really what? wish I was one of the cops in this situation, and I could just be like, "Sir, why are you acting like a fucking psycho? What is your deal?" I I, I don't know. I guess that's not like professional or whatever. But like. Again, can you imagine any single, like, what, whatever governing body, HR, or some kind of court or whatever, would look over the body cam and see see this guy acting the way he is, and they'd just be like, yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, you you should have tackled him to the fucking ground. I have to, I have to commit a crime first to, to huh? trespass. I can't hear you, man. I have to commit a crime? You do not have to commit a crime. How am I being going to trespass for no reason? This is, you can't trespass okay, me from public property. Argue, but Trespass, so you're gonna have is to your uh, body cam on? Yes, it is. Is it? It's yours on too? Yes, it is. Okay. You're on. All right. Um, but like as I was saying, you can't trespass someone from public property. What? You can't trespass someone from public property. As you should be aware of, right? So security has told you to leave multiple times. Uh huh. Who is security okay. to tell me to do what to do? So there. <laughs> Oh, it really just gets down to that eventually. Like, at, at a certain point, it's just like, hey, man, uh, what the fuck are you? I mean, uh, honestly, like, man, all land is like the the earth, bro. Like, who are you to tell me I can't be anywhere, dude? Like, I'll go where I want. It's all like life, man. Like, come, ease up, dude. Security for this property here. Uh -huh. Okay, that means they're the legal representative for this property. Uh -huh. Really? Yes. Oh wow, we gotta, we gotta fucking. Wow, these like you can really tell somebody by the quality of their memes. This is like some shit from fucking two thousand nine. This is, this is more embarrassing than the rest of the video. Jesus Christ. So what law is that? It's trespassing. What law? Take care. <laughs> what, what are you having a hard time understanding? Um, I mean, this man is trying so hard to figure out what in the fuck this guy smoked to get to be like this. I'm Legal right to trespass you. A security okay. can't trespass you. It, it That's why we're here. We're here to trespass you, but you have now been trespassed, okay? How? So all you have to do is leave property. Well, how can you gonna trespass me for public property? I'm gonna have, I was here for business. And it literally said at the beginning of the video, and he spent a while looking at the sign that says no trespassing, private property, and now he's being like, but it's public property, though. Uh, before, like 15 seconds, when I just- Like, at a certain point, he's just literally just wrong. Like, he is just wrong. It's not even about, like, haha, you know, he's not technically breaking the law. No, he is. This is just wrong. And I'm pretty sure he knows he's he's like just it's just wrong, but he's just trying to push his luck and see if he can like get away with it. It's it's so it's so sad. Like Jesus Christ, does does this man have nobody that loves him? Like what the fuck? This is pathetic. Here, I was gonna do a little video for the community. Fifteen seconds. Uh, some gentleman came out, started taking pictures, started freaking out. I was like, oh Lord. Fifteen seconds in, and I'm already having. So how come security called us thirty minutes ago? Oh, because I've been here for 30 minutes waiting for you guys to show up for you guys so you guys can educate him. Whatever I'm doing here now is legal, is protected uh, by the Constitution, First Amendment, right? You should know that, right? Um, public photography, right? Photography, suspicious activity is not a crime, man. 
So. So is the business still open? I'm sorry? Is the business still Suspicious open? activity is not a crime, man. I just listen. I'm just being suspicious. Don't mind me. I'm just doing some suspicious stuff. What's the? Is that a problem? Come on. Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't think so. They think they closed at 4:30, right? Yeah. So when they close this, this site is it's private now. So nobody can walk past here anymore. Oh, I can't no walk one, past. No one can go into the business. No, I, no, no, no. I actually had business here, man. That's what right, I'm not understanding. I'm understanding of that. Yeah. So and I, they didn't even let me go inside because they were freaking out. I had a camera. So I was trying to explain to the guy, to the gentleman, security. He started freaking out. I was like, dude, I'm here to do a story. I'm here with the media. Do a story. Don't freak out, man. Like, what I'm doing is... And again, like, you know, obviously both people he involved in this know this is bullshit. I would love for the cop to just be like, well, can I just level with you? Like, we both know this is... F you're full of shit right now. If you were, like, with the media, quote unquote, you wouldn't have a problem with just saying who you're with and divulging who like your credentials or whatever but instead you're doing this weird fucking power play of like oh who who are you to ask me for my credentials uh, like uh, they both know and this guy probably himself knows like yeah you know obviously i'm being incredibly bizarre and suspicious and I'm just pushing my luck to see what happens and it's like yeah i mean i guess technically sometimes a lot of the time that is that is going to get you in trouble. Sometimes that might not necessarily be a crime, but like, I don't know, man. Do you really want to die on the hill of like being a fucking weirdo in public? Like, I, I, I guess I go for it. Whatever. Constitution. And I'm not doing nothing wrong. So uh, he just started freaking out. He just got on the phone. Uh, called you guys. Apparently, you guys are here. I was just doing uh, a walkthrough of this property as well, since it's you know funded by the taxpayers as well. This one, right? So you can't trespass from from the property. Uh, if you try to do that, man, I'll take that ticket. Yeah, you know, you can go to court. But what you'll be doing is very illegal. So um, I, that's something I'm here to do: educate as well on the First Amendment. So you know, I hope you guys. Uh, yeah, this guy's one to educate you on the First Amendment. Learn from this. Excellent. And you guys, you guys understand that you guys can't trespass someone from public property. So are you going to leave? Oh, yeah. I was actually going to leave already voluntarily. I'm leaving okay, voluntarily. Awesome. But I just wanted to talk to you guys and see what you guys were saying, what you guys talked to the gentleman. Obviously, you guys didn't educate him on the First Amendment, which is my right. You know, you can't make a, a protected activity. This man, I don't know. This 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 guy, I, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. He's a tiny little small man who feels so little power and control and agency in his life that he just needs to be like, yeah, I just want to educate you about my rights. Like, oh, shut the fuck up. You absolute little bitch. Uh, not a bully stream. Uh, let's take a look at a bad multiple car accident. Thankfully, there's no, like, weird gore or anything in this one. But, uh, you know... He sees this car accident, right? And uh, there's like, there's like a pretty bad, there's like a pretty bad situation. This car is like the whole fucking front half of it is is fucked up, and and uh, yeah, there's another car over here again, multiple car accident. Uh, the the authorities are just trying to like deal with this and respond to it in some way. And then this guy singles out this one dude. I think it's right around here, or maybe it's... Yeah, it's like toward the end of the video. There's like this one guy. And this guy is just, again, emergency responder trying to do his job. Hey, what's your name and batch number? <laughs> hey, Wapo. Meekly from the sidelines. Hey, hey, hey. Can I get your number? Hey, buddy. I need your number. Hey, buddy. I need your number. 
Hey, hey, pal. It's like, fucking shut up. He's trying to deal with a fucking multiple car wreck. There's probably multiple fucking casualties happening here. And you're, like, annoying these fucking first responders that are, like, doing their fucking jobs. Hey, handsome. Hey, what's your name and batch number, sir? What's up? What's your name and batch number? What? What's your name and batch number? What? Is someone requesting it? Do you need help with something? We're being a little bitch and stop flashing the light on my face, man. Okay, dude. Have a good night. <laughs> hey, name and batch number. It's a bitch batch number! This guy is just like... Hey, do you need something? And the guy's like, Hey, you being a bitch, you fucking asshole! And this cop is just like, Man, I've got problems to deal with that are bigger than you. Shut the fuck up. Don't be a little bitch. Come being on. a bitch! Don't be like that, man. Just... What a bitch this guy is being for being a first responder to a car accident. What an asshole. That's it for the night. He like, he just went to this accident and tried to cause problems with the cops until they would like fucking respond to him in some way. It's really quite pathetic. So we're, you know, that's caught you slipping audits. He's an absolute clown. Uh, I, I don't, uh, don't care for him. Let's move along. We got more boys. The next person I'd like to bring your attention to is Nasty Nathaniel. Uh, who, uh, this is, a uh, this is a guy with a few, th 46,000 subs right here. And, uh, we're going to be taking a look at this one where he, uh, First Amendment Audit Santa Maria Juvenile Justice Center. So this guy is standing around outside of the fucking juvenile hall being a creeper. And, uh, yeah, let's watch. This one's got over a million views and only 1,000 dislikes to 10,000 likes, which is a pretty low number for a million views. It makes me wonder if this is uh, potentially view botted, but I actually want to see. I want to see if there is. Uh, let's see the one. The one. Uh, we we got to look at some of the comments once in a while. This one's pretty good. For the safety of the children, sure. What do you think it's for? This is a weird man standing around in front of the fucking, like, juvenile hall. But, uh, I, uh, I don't, I don't think I can find, it might, it might be a different video. I wanted to share with you one comment in particular, though. This is one from a video that we watched last night, and I would be re remiss not to share it. Uh, let me, let me just, uh... Just go ahead and uh, a Arizona.png. Let me bring this in here. Uh, a Arizona, I like your style, cause you are honest and have strong principle apostrophe s of integrity. And you keep a moral uprightness about your self-essay. Take these two fools to school and you be the teacher, says Vinny Sage. Uh, Rosemead California, eh? Um, so yeah, that's the count. That's, that's the type of people watching videos like this. That's all I wanted to, I just wanted to share that with you. And let's watch this one. This is Nasty Nathaniel. All right, Nasty Nathaniel out here in Santa Maria, California. And right now I'm going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of the Susan J. Gianfrido Juvenile Justice Center, which houses the Santa Maria Juvenile Hall and the Santa Barbara County Juvenile Courts. Oh no, it's Susan. Oh, she's coming. So, you know, again, like, I, I don't know. It doesn't take a, a genius to start wondering, hey, that creepy man with the camera standing in front of Juvenile Hall, what's going on here? What's going on, big guy? Because, uh, you know, I mean, I'm assuming there's ty the types of people that would be like, oh, yeah, the 
kids getting released and they've got nowhere to turn to or whatever. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to film them and do, do things or whatever. Like there's many things your mind might lead to about like why some weirdo might be standing around in front of juvenile hall, but he's here and he's doing it. And here's this guy. Well, I don't see how that's any of your concern, sir. Okay, well, I'm on a public sidewalk. They're more than happy. Now, I gotta tell you, chat, he, he's already provoking 911 and everything. Later in the video, the cops show up. And this is one of my favorite resolutions to one of these situations so far. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but the cops come up with a very good way of dealing with these people. And uh, it's a it's this it's a bit of a subtle thing, but I really like it. Uh, we'll 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 see that. All right. Well, we got this individual here. This individual. All right. All mm right. -hmm. Yeah. Everything seems to be in order here. Who, uh, called 911 on me earlier. He's uh, parked down the street. And one of the things I love about these kinds of people too is that this is like, well, I guess this is like some weird like self-appointed like, well, I'm a citizen and I'm going to audit you as a citizen or something. Like it's it's the power of the individual gone run amok basically. And it, it, it runs back to that last guy who was like, well, what do you, what right do you have to ask for my fucking credentials? And it's like, well, what right do you have to do any of this? Everybody's just got their right as a citizen or whatever. God, God given sovereign rights or whatever the fuck you people believe. Like 90% of the time when this shit is happening, you can just turn their logic back on them and be like, yeah, well, that guy has a right to like, I don't know fucking deal with you in on his property or whatever but what you know it doesn't apply to them wants to know why i'm taking pictures of the juvenile hall said he's gonna have 911 deal with me so this weirdo over here wants to know why i'm photographing 10 year olds i don't know man it's a little bit sus mm -hmm. we'll see what happens when the cavalry gets here Literally just trying to get the cops to waste their time on him for attention. I hope I hope all of the people involved in this stupid fucking stream, all the people I've looked at, I hope they feel very good that I've given them their you for the day. Oh, right there we got a shot of Old Glory. And below Old Glory is the California State Bear flag. There, it's you! Always flying high and proud. This looks like some kind of a entrance for prisoner transport vehicles. Yeah, I'd like to point out, by the way, just keep in mind through all of this, the man's name is Nasty Nathaniel. Well, well this guy who is photographing fucking children at Juvenile Hall, his name is Nasty Nathaniel. Just, you know, just remember that. Uh, we got the Santa Maria Police Department on the scene. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. Dude, he gets to interact with a woman this week. This is so pog. Uh, so Juvenile Hall wanted to know why you're videotaping their building. Just gathering content for a little story I'm working on. Okay. Just a little story. 
Uh, just I have a blog and, and such. Okay. You yeah, you know, we talk about uh, a lot of things on the blog, you know, boys love, Nambla, things of that nature. You know, ever since I got that card, I just wouldn't shut up about it. Uh, I prefer not to identify. Okay, I'd like to see it. You're required by law to get married. Actually, unless I've been suspected of committing Actually! You're filming a government home. Uh, from okay. a public sidewalk. Right. That's which fine. is perfectly legal. Right. I have like, the right to detain you, okay? And I, you're required to identify yourself. Am I being detained? Well, you're not being charged with anything. I you're understand that. I understand that, officer, but I do understand California law. Unless you have reason... This poor woman right now. This poor fucking... She's just like... Just the fucking thousand yard stare of like, oh my god, I woke up this morning, I put on my pants one leg at a time, and I had to come out and deal with this motherfucker, this absolute fucking genius, this this guy who literally, I, I don't know, they shut off his fucking power last week in his trailer, and now he's got nothing better to do but, like, waste our time and film people at the juvenile hall. In California law, unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime, okay. filming a government building from a public sidewalk, which is protected by the First Amendment, is not a crime. No, but I have the right to detain you to figure out what's going on, okay? Okay. You're at your address in all BDUs. you got a video camera, two video cameras, okay? Okay. The juvenile hall is concerned. Okay, if no crime is committed, then... No big deal, okay? But I do have the right to identify you. Um, you are required to give me your ID. No, I'm not. Unless I, unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime. Oh, this poor I'm woman. Not... This poor fuck. <laughs> I love the look on her face. Uh, no, I'm not. Unless I, unless she's just like, oh, okay, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> We're gonna have to call everyone down here <laughs> because you're being an asshole. This is gonna be a whole fucking thing. All right. Do you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually committed a crime? I'm not required to identify myself. No, I'm not. Detained. Okay, officer, what am I being detained for? For suspicion of why you're at, dressed and acting all weird in front of you. Well, <laughs> suspicion is not. See, I like this lady again. Dude, why are you acting all weird? Why are you acting like a fucking weird person? That's why you're being detained. You're being a, a fucking <laughs> creeper. Right, it's not probable cause. <laughs> That's not a crime, though. <laughs> What's going on. Okay, and I just told you what's going on. Well, officer, at this point, I'd like to speak to a supervisor, so I would ask I'd like you to, to call speak Sergeant to your officer. manager. Wow, wow, cops on demand, holy shit. Just showed up immediately. They're always right there when you don't want them. How you doing, dude? Hi, how you doing, sir? Good. Uh, just gathering content for a little story. For what? Just gathering uh, content, like B-roll, for a little story I'm doing. Oh, what's the story on? Uh, it's uh, just for a blog I write. Uh, I'd rather not say it this time because it's not published yet, so... I'd rather not say it this time. You know, again, if I was a normal human being who was not being a fucking creeper weirdo, I'd probably mention what the blog is about or maybe show you the blog or give you some insight as to why I'm here. Uh, but no, I'm going to be a weirdly uncooperative asshole because I'm definitely not guilty of anything. Yeah, just getting some B-roll. Yeah. yeah, whatever. You understand why we came out here? I understand. Okay. Do you think it's a little weird that you're out here filming Juvenile Hall? Okay. Well, I've been on the public sidewalk the whole time. No, that's I not, haven't gone not on saying, any not restricted areas. Wrong with that. Okay. But we just want to make sure that you're not coming out here trying to snoop around and do something. Do something. Do reconnaissance, you know? Yeah. You want to talk to the sergeant, I take it? Yeah, because uh, like like the other officer, you know, she asked for my ID. I respectfully declined because, you know, I, I, I know what my rights are. Unless there's reasonable suspicion that a crime has actually been committed, I'm not required to identify myself. So um, the other officer here is it suggesting that she has the right to ID me. I'm saying no. So at this point, I think it would be best to have a supervisor come out. And we can clarify all this. That's fine. Okay. Whatever.
This cop has probably dealt with somebody like this before, and he's just, like, trying to be as aloof as possible. You know, the best thing about these videos is that the cops involved, you know, they're they're just going home at the end of the night, and they're telling their, like, husband or their wife or whatever, and they're just being like, man, we fucking dealt with this one crazy asshole today. Let me tell you about it. And then they have hot, passionate sex all night, and they have 13 beautiful children, and they live on a ranch somewhere. But meanwhile, this guy, he just goes home and cries into his Wheaties and, you know, <laughs> at least I know what my rights are. <laughs> so just to clarify, I am le being legally detained. I'm not free to leave. As far as I know, you haven't done anything criminal. We just asked who you were. Okay. Well the, well, the other officer here said that I was being detained. So... Filming a juvenile hall. Okay. Yeah, I was detaining you to find out who you are. Oh, so I am being detained. I'm detained. I'm not free to leave then. Okay. All right. I'm not accusing you of any crime or anything. I'm just trying to figure out why you're out here. Okay. And, and like I said, I, I, I understand that. You got to call for service. You have to come out and investigate. I explained to you what I was doing. And I will give this guy the little bit of credit that I can, which is that, like, compared to Arizona Auditor just being, like, fucking argumentative and talking over them and being a loud piece of shit asshole, this guy's at least trying to be semi-respectful. But, I mean, that respectfulness just comes off as being, like, a nerd, honestly. Like, a big fucking... To head head in the toilet swirly nerd oh yeah no i understand i'm just telling you my rights hey <laughs> god again it's like i don't know man i i just don't know i don't know what has to be going so wrong in your life that the only thing you think you have to to like do and contribute is fucking wasting your time on this stupid bullshit technicality because like again you know in a case like this yeah i mean it's a guy standing on a sidewalk recording a building it's not technically any kind of giant criminal offense but it just becomes a thing when this guy starts being all fucking weird and evasive about it and it's like i don't know man i <laughs> i don't know man i uh again if there was ever if there was ever some kind of push to restrict people's freedoms any more than they already have, it, it's shit like this that's gonna get it ha that's gonna make it happen. People like this don't realize when they fucking test the limits of shit like this, they're just causing people to become aware. Oh yeah, there's assholes that'll try to push the fucking boundaries and be like take up our resources and our time. And so, yeah, maybe we should change the laws and make this a crime now. And suddenly in like 10 years, when somebody actually has a legitimate reason to want to film a building or whatever it is they might be doing, suddenly that'll be a crime because assholes like this. It's the same thing where 9-11 happened and all of a sudden you got to take your fucking shoes off at the airport. I know that's like an old thing to complain about, but they still make you do it. And it's like, man... Back in the day, you could have just gone through an airport without a care in the world. But then a couple of fucking crazy idiots with bombs or whatever had to fucking had to fucking take the shit into their own hands. And now none of us have fun anymore. Now you go to the airport and you're carrying a fucking 3DS and they assume that it's like a fucking I, I don't know. It's going to release sarin gas or something. And it's the same shit with this. Like, yeah, you push your limits now. See how far that gets you. See how far it gets people in 10 years when suddenly people like you have been outlawed. Yeah, you have the right to do shit like this now. Maybe don't push your fucking luck. But, you know, and you've even admitted that I'm not doing anything wrong. There's no crime being committed. No crime being committed. Then I, I really don't understand why I'm being detained then. I don't get, again, I don't get how this man is just completely oblivious to, like, the fact that he is being a weirdo. Like, that's just not even a registered in his brain, in his brain meets. The fact that he's just being a strange, strange little man standing around. We, You don't see him in this video. You don't get to see what he looks like, but I've seen what he looks like, and he is like a, he is like a, a, a rotund ball of joy. 
Yeah, he, he's got a belly like a tub full of jelly. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be a bully out here, uh, even though that is my First Amendment right to say what I feel. Uh, 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 but I uh, I am, you know, I, I am saying that uh, if you saw this guy with his like fanny pack or whatever that he's wearing, looking like fucking Michael Moore, you would probably also wonder why he's standing out there greasily s fucking filming a, 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 a juvenile hall. Uh, if I'm being detained, yes. No, I'm not equating it with 9-11, you fucking spurg lord. I'm making a fucking point. God damn. You're you're probably one of them. <laughs> you come at it, you come at Oh, he's equating it with 9-11, bro. Hey, get your hands off me, you're harassing me. That's the same kind of logic of like I get it, you're trying to you're trying to provoke me, you got me, yeah, you got you got me, but uh, you know, yeah. You look like a you look like a, an idiot. I, I don't know. So, you know, this continues, and he just wastes everybody's time, and then Officer Patton Oswalt shows up. Sergeant Lara, Santa Maria Police Department. Today's date is 123 of 2017. The time is 16, 13 hours. Are you getting that? Yes, sir. Do you have enough information? Do I need to tell you my name and badge number? Okay, good. I want to stamp too, okay? There he is. Nothing. I just, uh, your officers made contact with me. I explained to him. Okay. I'm a Gathering content for a little story I'm doing. All right. And uh, when your officer, she wanted to uh, ident uh, see my ID. I told her I'd prefer not to. And Actually, we do have the right to ask you for your ID because they call us here. It is a juvenile hall facility here. So okay. we do have your authority. Okay, so if you're doing a story, yes, we do have that right, sir. Okay, and I explained to your officer that unless I understand California law, mm -hmm. I've been through this before. Okay. Unless you have reason. I've been through this before. Multiple times I have made a fucking ass out of myself and forced people to waste their time talking to me about, like, the Wikipedia definition of free speech or whatever. I understand. I've done this before. Not well, my first song and dance. I've so, suspicious that I've actually committed a crime. Hear me out, okay? Okay. okay. So we have people that do reconnaissance on police, on our juvenile hall facilities, jail facilities, people that right. okay. gather information, take video surveillance, try to identify us, identify our vehicles, and do all that kind of stuff for malicious purposes, okay? And I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing out here. You're saying that you're doing this for a blog or whatever. So... We're detaining you to figure out whether or not you're doing this for malicious purposes or completely innocent purposes. And if it's for completely innocent purposes, that's totally fine. But we do have the right to identify you, okay? And if we ID you and everything's good to go, then you're fine. And, and you know what's great is that every single one of these cops, they're going home tonight assuming that this guy is like a weird pedo. I mean, let's cut the shit here. He's like filming a juvenile hall. Every single one of these cops is assuming that this guy is, like, filming the, the kids or something. Like, he's up to something. That's what they're thinking. And whether or not, like, he's he's got whatever thing that he's, like, here for, these guys are all going to go home tonight and just be like, man, that guy is a fucking creepo. Keep an eye out for that guy. Because he's being a fucking creepo. Right to decline, because I uh, I know the law, I know my right, I'm not trying to be confrontational or anything, but unless you have reasonable suspicion that I've actually no. committed a crime, I'm not required yeah, so to, the officer here. to identify so myself. the way a detention works, right, we don't have probable cause at this point. The reason we detain people is to investigate something to see whether or not a crime has been committed. So when we detain somebody, at that point we do not know whether or not a crime has been committed or not yet. Okay, it's during the detention we do our investigation to identify that per person and find out why they're there doing what they're doing. And if no crime has been committed, there's no probable cause and that person is free to go. But during a detention, that's when we do our investigation. At that point, the person is required to identify themselves by law. No crime has been committed that I can tell at this point. You're right. That's correct. Okay. But we still have the right to detain you and to identify you. Okay. Okay, but what probable cause is there to uh, suspect no, that I have committed a crime? Is, I'm filming from a public sidewalk. If there was probable cause, you would be in handcuffs already. Right. That's what she's trying to explain to you. Okay. It's but we do have, exactly, a detention just to investigate. And we didn't come out here on our own. They contacted us. Yeah, you got a call for service. Okay. I understand so, that. And if you know the law and everything, you know that part too. Okay? And 
Bottom line is the officer's right, and we do have a job to do, obviously. Taxpayers pay us to do a job, and this is part of the job. Okay. Okay. So all she's asking for identification is what we're talking to. She's not asking for too much. Okay. Okay. And I'm respectfully declining. Okay. Well, we do need an ID, sir. Okay. Uh, listen, I am respectfully declining being arrested, okay? Look, I know you found me stabbing that guy, and then I ran, and then I smashed up your cop cars a little bit. But listen, listen, okay? You, you're you harassing me, and I would very much like you to stop, please. I'm formally requesting that you stop. Are you not going to stop? Oh, I'm going to tell your supervisor and you. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to provide identification. I, like I said, I've been through this before. You know, yeah. I've been through similar situations. Well, you know, this way we start our camera too, so that way, I mean, everything's recorded, okay? Okay. Sir? So, and what was the, uh, what was the call? Well, they deliberate for a little bit, and eventually this guy comes back, and he has a pretty good. Okay, sir. Okay. We're going to stand around so you take care of your business. Okay. We're just going to stand around here while you do your thing. And then whatever you need for your blog, do the film in here from here. And obviously that's private property over there. Okay. And then just then leave when you're ready. Okay, but we're going to stand around here to make sure that the, the facility is safe. And now, like, this is what I was saying before. This is a good way of ending this. I, uh, I, I, I've not seen one like this where they're just like, yeah, we'll just watch you until you're done. But that's a good way of doing it, I guess. But at the same time, it's sort of like... Again, like, there's probably a fucking crime happening, like a real crime somewhere around the neighborhood. And this asshole is currently occupying, like, five different police officers who could be off doing real work. And instead, he's, like, he, they're doing this shit, you know? And, uh, yeah, just awful. Just, just awful. Okay, that's because perfectly Because there are kids in here, and that's our main concern here. Kids. Kids. Okay? So we don't know what you're doing here. And we don't feel comfortable just leaving you here. So we are going to stay stick around, and then uh, when you're ready to do, when you're done, then you can leave. Actually, I'm already ready. Well, then we can get. Yeah. Oh okay. wow! Okay. I already am ready to leave. Wow, that's amazing. It's it's incredible. The moment you got challenged on your bullshit, like I'm amazed that he didn't push the the envelope a little further and just stand there and keep filming them while the cops just just are forced to watch him. Like this guy's being a prick. I can't imagine. I can't, I can't believe he didn't just be like, yeah, well, you know, I'll probably be done in the next couple hours or so. Whatever, bro. If this was like Arizona auditor guy, he would probably have done that, honestly. And everything will be documented. We're writing a report and everything, all the okay. pictures and everything. So we have our own little information too, okay? Okay. All right, so whenever you're ready, you can get out of here or okay. whatever you're gonna do. So I'm no longer being detained, I'm no, free no, to go? You can, you can, you're free to go. Okay. Oh, this is a great part. Ooh, that's a bad angle. Oh, that's a bad angle. I better try to get another angle on you. <laughs> oh, yeah, the glare. Yeah, I don't want to glare. Yeah, it's the glare that gives it a bad angle and not your fucking face. Yeah, so now the cops are, like, taking his picture to pass around the fucking police department and be like, Hey, you ever see this asshole? Just uh, be be aware of him. He's a, he's a problem person. This is my favorite part. Okay. A nice clear view with that cannon. No, it turns out it wasn't the glare. You're just ugly. And again, we're doing all this for the safety of the children in there. Okay. Alrighty. Well, no, because according to uh, Walker, or no, which one was it? There was... Yeah, meanwhile, someone's house is being broken into on the next block over because this fucking asshole is taking up like five cops time right now. Uh, uh, I, where was the one? Welcome to the land of guilty until proven innocent. I swear to God. Literally. Yeah, you're guilty. You are guilty of being a crazy weirdo. Yeah, you're a hundred percent guilty. Uh, this guy's got 7,000 comments on this. There was that one comment for the safety of the children. Sure. Yeah, sure. And if you want to, you want to call it that. Okay. These guys assume that there's like some Illuminati conspiracy happening in the fucking, 
in the fucking juvenile hall or whatever, and they're actually trying to protect the aliens that are in there. I also wonder why this guy is still here or letting this woman film him or whatever, and why he hasn't left. Oh, these cops failed. I, I don't know, man. I would say that you failed a little bit when you, you know, slinked away like a bitch the moment that they said that you were, uh, you know, you, you they would be there until you left. Uh, like, yeah. Again, the people watching that appear to think that, like, oh, this really proves it. This proves it. They're wasting their time on me doing nothing. And it's like, no, you're doing something, though. But uh, we're, we're going to move along. That was nasty, Nathaniel. I'd like to share with you uh, now. If you look up First Amendment audits on YouTube, one of the biggest channels, it's not even one of the biggest, actually, but it comes up a lot. It's the channel uh, Freedom News Now. And uh, this man's crazy. Uh, I'm just going to put that out there. This is a crazy man. Um Multiple videos, over a million views, though. Uh, I would like to show you... What was the one? Oh, yeah. There's the one where he... Where Where is it? The one where he does this fucking silent treatment like a baby again. Uh, give me ID. Michigan cops lose it over silent treatment. Look, yeah. Yeah, we're and now we start this, and it's like a clip from earlier in the video, or later, or whatever, but... This is taking place in, like, Warren, Michigan. Just to let you know, we're in America. Because nowhere else would you ever see a stupid fucking video like this. That's actually not true. Apparently there are people like this in the UK and in Australia, which makes sense. That's Australia. Australia is like an entire country of the Deep South, so... So this guy's out here, and this is truly one of the more tenuous ones where it's like, uh, or tenuous, is that the word? I don't know. This is one where it's like, I don't know, he is just on a sidewalk behind a fence filming some tanks. And I mean, you know, I could see if you were like a tourist or whatever, if you happen to be passing through Warren, Michigan, the big tourist mecca, and you saw this like building that had a bunch of tanks and shit in front, you might take some pictures of it. And it would be a little weird if he got in trouble for that, but we don't know how long this guy's been standing here with his camera, for one thing. But there's the cops. Okay, we got company. He's just trying to like what walk away now. Hi, sir. Now this lady's not helping her case right now by having a hundred percent the Karen haircut. But hear me out. This lady is hero cop number two. I'm a big fan of this lady. Watch her. How are you? You work over here at the tank line. Can you talk to me? Oh, I got him with the silent treatment. Oh, dude, I learned this one when I was five. What up? Are we just here stare at each other? Can you talk to me? Can you tell me what you're doing? Anything? We had somebody calling about you being out here. Nothing? I love this woman. I love her, like, accent. <laughs> just, the, I don't know, just the way she, like, uh, nothing? Not gonna do anything? Uh, all right, then. Really? Nothing? She's great. Can you tell me your name? never like i ma keep making the joke that it's like he's a five-year-old but like i never i have never seen people do like the silent treatment in real life who were not children or 
or up to something weird. You know what I mean? Like that is that is just bizarre behavior. Or maybe if they like don't understand, maybe if they're fucking deaf mute or something, like I don't know, but work for the military? Do you work in the military? Nothing. Can you tell me anything? Maybe this guy is just fucking dumbstruck because he saw a woman for the first time. I know I keep making that joke, but again, it always comes back to like... I don't know. You got to be some kind of like an extra level of weirdo to be like just filming these people randomly in public. Like that is that is like serial killer kind of shit. Just, just random. And you won't talk to her. I don't know. It's it. May, again, maybe the silent treatment wasn't his choice. He was just standing there like, oh, 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 oh God, oh, God, what do I say? is fucking deafening. <laughs> that fucking, like, long... Just the wind. It's great. It really punctuates what a dick this guy's being. Nothing. Facilities. No, I don't think you are either. Hi, bud. All right, fellow. Women aren't to your liking. We sent in Officer uh, Meatwall. You know, another, another, another big, big hefty lad. cops right now they're rightfully assuming this guy might be up to something fucking crazy like he might he might just pull a gun at some point he might have like a suicide vest on like you don't fucking know you're in this lot you're in the line of duty and you're just like man at any time some shit could go down and my partner could be fucking dead or i could be fucking dead and it's like split second decisions and that you see them maybe like putting their hands on their guns or whatever and it's like yeah because you don't know what this guy's got up his fucking sleeve. They, they're they lucky that this dude happens to just be another fucking 1A wacko. And he's not like fucking, like again, like dressed in a suicide bomb or fucking, I don't know, some other wacky comic book. I said earlier, like, you don't know this. The, the guy given the silent treatment like a weirdo, he could just very well be like a... Uh, a comic book supervillain who's gonna drop like a a SARS vial and just step on it and release the uh, activate it, you know, like some crazy shit. They don't know. They're just making sure, you know. Do us a favor. I know. I mean, you're well within your right to stand out here and videotape. Okay. Do 
You're making us nervous. We don't want to do anything to harm you. Look. You're making us nervous. We don't want to do anything to harm you. All you need to let us know is what's going on and that you're okay and we'll leave you be. All, all he needs to do is just a answer what they're saying and this won't be a problem. I get somewhat the point of these people where it's like, okay, you're the authorities, but I have rights. And there's a certain level of it where it's like, yeah, a lot of people will just assume, oh, it's a cop. I got to tell them this and this and cooperate with this. And a lot of times you don't actually have to. And that can be, you know, something that you might want to keep in mind if you're like, I don't know, being actually unlawfully accosted in some way. But like with this, again, it's just provocation. It's just pushing. It's the definition of pushing your luck and just seeing if seeing what you can get away with. And again, it's a waste of their time. It's just like a waste of fucking everybody's time. Man, that's not me breathing on the mic. That that is our, well, that is both the wind and our man, uh, breathe, breathing on the mic. Your hands where you, we can see. I mean, don't make a big deal about this. At this point, I begin to fear for my life. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? There's bulges everywhere, though. That's the problem. Yeah, we don't see the guy, but he's probably covered in like a bunch of fucking tactical pockets and shit. The guy, the guy cop is like, he's got bulges all over him. So he's probably, he looks like he's carrying a bunch of weird shit. That's what I'm assuming. We're not gonna, listen. I honestly and reasonably believe I am about to be killed or seriously injured by Warren Police. He phrased this in the most like legal document way possible. Like he 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 figured out the most like uh, I I within my full present state of mind and with all gumption in my soul and uh, with the God's own witness, I believe that I was gonna be killed. He is like trying his heart. He's like swearing on the Bible. This is, this is fuck, fucked up. Like, and it's so clear he doesn't, he doesn't, he's not, he's not afraid for his life. He is literally just trying to get people to be like, oh, look at these, look at these guys abusing their power by fucking dealing with this weirdo that won't talk to them or say anything and is covered in like tactical armor or whatever. Not to do anything to cause you any type of upset or anything like that. We just need to ask you basic questions. Okay? Yes, she has her hand on her gun because you are an unknown situation right now. If you would speak to them, then they would know what's going on and they would know not to be necessarily afraid of you. This is the thing, like the other guys, they they did something. Like they eventually talked. They might have started with the silent treatment, but then they eventually just proved that they were just like loud attention seeking idiots. But this guy refuses to say a fucking word. And it makes them wonder if this guy is up to something. Of course they wonder if he's up to something. Like, I don't know. I'm not crazy here, right? Like, you, if you were in this situation, and it, again, it could be like a split second, this guy pulls a weapon and you're fucking dead. Would you not also be concerned that this guy who won't say anything and is just filming you and acting like a fucking psycho is up to something and might, you know... It, it, you might need to fucking pull on him. Like, I don't know. I feel like I probably would have a reasonable fear in this situation. I begin to fear for my life. <laughs> Another one is aggressively approaching from behind. I did not consent. Look, yeah, yeah we're just going to back do that for now. Please, please don't. Oh, they're grabbing me. They're Just grabbing me. I'm be am I, am I being detained? Or what? <laughs> the first thing he says, am I being detained? And you can tell, like, again, the moment that they finally just have had enough of this and they're like, okay, put down the fucking camera, you psycho. 
he he's just like, oh, they're grabbing me. They're trying to fucking harass me. They're trying. He, he is just looking to like get a lawsuit and like get some fucking money from them. I wonder if that's a big part of it. They're just trying to like scam the government and be like, oh, I was unlawfully whatever, you know. And it's it's really fucked up when you think about like again, you know, there's people fucking dying in the streets. There are cops killing people. And yet these people are fucking pushing their luck with this nonsense. And they're, oh, you, you're police brutality. Like, no, that's not what police brutality is. That That is not even approaching what police brutality is. And that kind of shit happens. And this is just like trivializing it. This, If you didn't know better, you would look at this and you'd be like, yeah, well, this proves it. Cops are right and everything they do is just. And it's like, no, it's somewhere in the middle between that. There's some fucked up bad cops. But nearly everyone that I've seen tonight, if not all, every single one has just been trying to do their job and deal with psychos. And if I've been, if I'm supposed to have been convinced that all cops are bastards or whatever, I'm, whatever the message is of this fucking series of videos we've watched tonight, I have not been convinced. If anything, this has been an ad for the police department that they are more patient than they sometimes should be. And the sad thing is that's not even true. People might see this and be like, ah, oh, cops are bitches. I can just go out and do whatever I want. And then they get fucking killed. And are any of these people going to take responsibility for that? Probably not. You know, it's like you think about this more and more and you start to really consider what it is that's happening here. It's pretty fucked up. I don't know. I mean, okay, I'm being detained. Stop. Hey, look, I'm look, illegally look. being detained. I'm going to hold this for you. We're going to set it right here on the ground, okay? What are you doing, man? What are you doing here, Mark? You got anything to We're going to set that down on the ground for you. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I don't consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Do you have I do not consent. I am just traveling. I do not do consent like for you to undress me, sir. Okay, well, your face is covered up here right now, okay? Is that against it's the law, degrees, sir? You're covering your face. Is that against What kind of person would cover their face in, in the current year? I think this was actually... Oh, yeah, this was 2017. So this guy was walking around with, like, a full face covering and, like, apparently a bunch of pouches and shit all over him. And, and, and he's amazed that people think he might be a little bit suspicious or possibly committing some kind of crime. It's a law. What's going well, on, Well, it's man? a bit suspicious when you're standing outside of a... I'm done answering of a secure questions. Zone. I'm done answering questions. You're standing outside of a secure zone facility, a military facility. You got your face covered up. You're videotaping the facility. What are you so, trying to prove out here, man? What are you trying to prove? I'm a citizen journalist. Okay. I'm gathering so, content for a story, okay. and I was attacked by three cops. You were attacked? From the Warren Police Department, oh. we got... Can I? A 132. You were attacked? We got, if there was ever a video that could prove people like this are fucking full of shit, it's this one. I am so glad this is one of the most viewed videos on this guy's channel. And this is one of the main guys that comes up if you search for fucking First Amendment audits. This is this guy, show, this guy dominates the, the results. And so if you are stumbling across this and you're a normal person, you will look at this and you'll be like, this guy is clearly a fucking psycho weirdo trying to fucking provoke these cops. And the moment they took any kind of action, he he starts twisting it like, oh, I'm being illegally. And it's, he's just trying to get like attention and money. And anybody who sees this is just going to be like, oh, this is just an asshole. Okay. And then they go about their life. Thank you, YouTube, for finally doing something right and promoting a video like this that is fucking uh, cripplingly stupid. Who we got here? Reed? Officer Reed, 140. Who's this holding my left arm, Rose. bending my wrist? Rose. Officer Rose, yeah. 025. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Thank you, Officer Rose. Where do you live? That's all I want to do. He's, I mean, it's popping out right here. We just want to make sure you don't have You're any making weapons. motions. Okay, guys, you know, you know look at my arms here. These guys, these Listen. cops, oh, don't even these cops you assaulted know, me. This is not They're assault. breaking his arms. Okay. It's not. Would you like medical assistance, sir? Would you like medical assistance? I can call the fire department for you if you'd like. Do you want medical assistance? Would you like some mental assistance, maybe? You guys are dismissed. You may leave now. No, we're not. No. We got called out here for. Do you have a license to be out here right now? 
I like the person in chat who's just like, Owie, owie, ouch, my bones, ow, owie, I bit some ice, owie, owie, ouch. Yeah, that's that's the energy. Finish journalism. Do you have a license to be out here right now? No, you oh, don't. Part two coming soon. Yeah, that's Freedom News Now. Let's take a look at another one of his. Man, we are going fucking late tonight. I told you, chat, we're going to be here for a while. Uh, uh, this will, this might be the last channel we look at, possibly. I think I have a couple other things I want to see. But, uh, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this channel so far. Uh, it's 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 pretty pretty hilarious. Uh, what are you filming? Silent treatment turns physical. It's another one like that. Officers detained, demand ID. Uh, I wonder if in this one he actually isn't silent. That might be interesting. Oh wait, it's the same one. Is this just the same video? Okay, this is just a continuation of that video. In the city of Wardens, in the Do you suspect me of committing a crime? We got called out here. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Yes or no? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, listen, 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 yes, listen. Listen. What crime is that? I like this cop who's just like, yes, we do. Yeah, yeah, you're suspicious as hell, bro. We suspect you of something. Yeah, sir. I'm not sure. But it's awfully Somebody suspicious to me. You. Somebody called us, okay? You made somebody nervous enough to call. You can get your head. Go ahead. Listen, somebody made, you made somebody nervous enough to call us, correct? Okay? That arm right there is can sit technically, you can grab that arm, okay? I can't, I mean, I can't hurt me with a camera. I'm just saying. They called us out here, okay? We're investigating a crime. If a crime had been committed, you'd be in handcuffs, you'd be in the backseat of a car. However, you're making gestures towards your hip. What crime do you suspect me of committing, Officer Kanaya? I don't suspect you of committing anything right now. However, you are detained right now because we were investigating a crime, because somebody called us out here. And due, due to that fact, okay, well, I'm gonna speak with these gentlemen right here, okay? Due to that fact, you have to identify yourself. Oh, we got an additional cop wasting his fucking time here. There's probably a burglary happening right over here in this store. Right here. It's a Staples. There's a burglary happening at this moment. And this, these guys, one, two, three, four, five cops here. Being forced to deal with this asshole. While well, there's like actual policing to, to be done because they don't know what this guy's up to and what he's fucking gonna do. Okay, hey guys, you see what kind of stay there company we get from photography. I am detained. Yes, you are. Reasonable okay. suspic suspicion that a crime is afoot right now. Okay. Okay. Crime is afoot, ladies and gentlemen. What's your YouTube channel? This is being made in demand right now, not officer to whatever your name is. Is it necessary to do all this? I'm just asking you. You can, you can leave it on, you can turn it off and talk to me, I don't care. I was trying to we be trying silent to deal with you. We're seeing what's going on. You're more than well, you can direct the stand out here, video tape, whatever you want. However, I, I don't, I'm not sure about the rules on video tape in federal facilities. Yeah. But I know at some facilities you cannot take pictures or videotape their facilities from anywhere. I know that is a crime. Do okay, I know so that? You see, this cop doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, when it comes to federal laws. Remember, guys, the dudes who work for the law, the dudes who are law officers, they definitely know less about the law than this man. No clue. They have no idea. Are you guys okay with this guy standing out here? They said they've had him all out here before. Are you guys okay with him standing out here? Because if he's okay, I'm getting out of here. He's being a major asshole, that's his right. I don't, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> he's okay to be here? All right. You have a nice day, sir. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, you pussy ass bitch. And so they're leaving. How can this video go on for another, like, fucking... Uh, fucking like five minutes. Hmm. Uh, 
Look at this cop, he's cussing at me. I want to I wanna charge this cop with disorderly conduct for cussing in public. <laughs> he's cussing in public. My brother Dylan Guttill wouldn't like that. Sidewalk. If you're going to walk around, it's fine. Okay, so this cop, I want to charge this cop with disorderly conduct for cussing. It's not against the law for freedom of speech. Okay, so the freedom of speech man here wants to charge a guy for saying words. Just just keep that in mind. This is the most viewed video on this guy's channel, everybody. This is a video with 1.381 million views. And this man who claims to stand for first amendment freedom of speech, blah blah blah, blah whatever is literally saying that he wants to charge a cop with a crime because he said mean words. There you go. This cop, these cops are protecting their own, man. Look at this, guys. Look at, look at all the attention photography gets, guys. How many cops is this now? They've got like three, four vehicles. There's another one behind him, I'm pretty sure. There's like four vehicles here. There's also, no wait, there's the six because there's two over on this side as well. There's like fucking an entire parade of officers here. This is crazy. Right, he's right here. You were doing a documentary or something like that, so why don't you get back to that? We'll be all set. Well, clearly, this is part of the documentary. Okay, we got more coming in. Code 4 for a photographer. Another car has arrived. You know, I joke about how there might be a crime happening somewhere in this town right now while they're, but they, literally, like, there are so many police officers here right now. You can be almost certain that somebody got away with a crime because of this fucking prick. Just keep that in mind. Cam back. I want, I want a, uh, someone's card. Can you give me your card, sir? We don't get, we're not issued cards. Can I get a department card? Don't issue you don't issue cards? I gave you my name, you have it on video. Everybody gave you the So name. I can file a complaint, who's your chief? Our chief, we have a commissioner green. We have two sergeants over there if you wish to speak with a supervisor. I do. Okay. I wanna talk to your manager. Hey, you know our names, what's your name, sir? Do you think there's any hope, like, do you think this guy actually believes he has any chance of like actually getting something like f getting this guy fucking fired for cussing or whatever or is he like literally just doing this to be an asshole like i don't know i really don't know this guy really takes the cake like he the other ones at least had some kind of like arizona man he was like screaming and just wouldn't stop talking that there was that other guy who was like the joker there was that one dude who was like weird and polite and fucking standing outside a juvenile hall. And now there's this guy who just seems the tone I would say is like drunk and disorderly. That's the tone that I'm getting from this man. The belligerent and wasted. Like he, he has taken too much of some kind of substance and now he is this way. And I wonder, you know, with a man like this, it, does he genuinely believe, oh, I'm just going to go over there, talk to the sergeant, and I'm going to tell him that that guy goes, was cussing, and then I'm going to get, the, I'm going to, I'm going to be the police chief then. That's how it works.
I want this cop charged with swearing disorderly conduct. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I hear it. It's disorderly conduct. What law is this? Disorderly conduct law. Time for you to move disturbing on. the peace. Get back to what you were doing. He's disturbing my peace by his with his swearing. Officer Lamond, 193. Tough guy. Look at this tyrant. Look at this guy. He's a tough guy now. Look at that walk of shame. The walk of shame, guys. It would be great if people like this could fucking... If people like this could fucking run into another person like this, and the other person is just like, I feel threatened! I feel threatened! And this guy is just like, uh, what crime have I committed? And it just turns into like an unstoppable force and an immovable object. And uh, yeah, you know, I gotta say, we're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cops in frame right now. There are more on the scene. He is taking up so many people's time right now. You gotta imagine this guy has just got the fucking hardest cock in the world. Like his his cock is like diamonds. Just like, oh, oh, I took up every cop's time, and they're all going to be annoyed by me, and they, mm, yeah, mm, it makes me feel all nipply. Like, he goes all fucking full Rich Evans sex weirdo. It, it, full on. Still just filming this building. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't. Where are you going? I'm go walking on the sidewalk. Up on us. I want to go down. I'm going that way. Hold on a second. Well, get off the sidewalk so I can move. You're obstructing my right to Hold move freely. Okay, so now I am being detained. You're detaining me. I'm, I'm preventing you from walking. You tell up me I'm detained. Me. I can't move. I want to walk I'm down that you way. From walking up behind my other. Shut off. Off. Walk around it. guys man how many guys does it take Any more photographers today? There goes the walk of shame, guys. Yeah, they should have probably arrested you. I don't know. That is kind of shameful. They probably should have arrested you. All right, I'm gonna probably do one more video and then I'm gonna call it for the night because we are getting late. I'm getting tired, but man, I love this shit and I want to watch another one. Uh, well, firstly. Hmm. No, you know what? We'll do that one last. Uh, let me let me do another one from this guy. Uh, maybe we'll try to do one that's more recent or uh, newest. Uh, First Amendment audit. Chelsea Milling Company. Just literally just going into random fucking stores and businesses. Uh, audit the police. Audit test Eaton Security. Give me ID, best ID refusal, uh-huh. Cop called, security gets owned, First Amendment. Cops called, court shutdown audit. Cops educated. Okay, man, he really he really has a lot going on. Uh but you know what? We'll we'll sort by we'll sort by most popular again and we'll just see what this one is. Silent treatment turns physical. This is probably gonna be more of like that last one where he just says nothing and eventually it turns into something. Uh, that was pretty entertaining. Let's see him do it again. What you filming? What you filming? What are you filming? 
I mean, here's the thing, too. Like, you see these people, they always come up to these guys and they're like, hey, what are you filming? If I went out in public and I just, like, walked down the street and I took my cam my phone out and took a fucking video of something, people wouldn't, like, stop me. There wouldn't be cops being like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because I'm not standing around dressed in, like, weird fucking gear, carrying, like, camera bags and all this, like, body camera and all this cr crazy shit. You never see the people that are actually behind the camera in these fucking videos. Uh, if you do, you usually see them in, like, car reflections or whatever. You never really get a good look at them. But when you do get to see any of them, they usually look like some kind of fucking, like, they're, they're, they're fucking packed for war. They're ready to go. So of course this guy thinks something's going on. He's a tactical patriot, everyone. Tactical! So we're at the sheriff's department in jail, uh-huh, and we're just kind of exploring. Uh-huh. Take a look at that guy, sure. This guy shows up and asks why he's filming. Silent Who treatment you? again. What are you filming? I'm just curious about what you're filming. Don't, you're not allowed to display my license plate. Who are you and what are you filming? That's what I'm curious about. I'm really interested in what you're filming. Sir, please don't touch me. I didn't touch you. Sir, do not touch me. I didn't touch you. I'm just curious what you're filming. I work in this building and I want to know what's going on here. Who are you with and what are you doing? I work in this building and I want to know what's going on here. Who are you with and what are you doing? Do we really need an extra no angle of this or like... I think it's a fair question. What are you doing? It's really tough to imagine how anybody can get into the mindset of like, I don't know, watching a video like this and assuming that this guy is the asshole. Like, every video we've watched tonight, it's been so clear to me. Like, like it's not even a question. Of course it's the guy with the camera who's being the asshole. It's the one who uploaded the video who's being the asshole in every instance. And yet, there's like a whole fucking... There's a whole ass community that watched this video. A million views on this shit. And some, somewhat mostly positive. This one's had some backlash. But like... You know, a lot of the people in the comments, we'll get to that soon, but a lot of the people are just like, Oh yeah, you really showed that fucking tyrant. Like, how do you get to a point where you think that? You must, again, dropped on your head as a child. Maybe you tried to do homemade jackass stunts and it went wrong. Or maybe it, got, it went sexual, I don't know. Okay, you can see these guys got something to hide here. Looks what like the Eaton County. You want to provide your name? My plate number. You want to provide your name? Why should he provide his name? Why should you not provide your name? You are both just... That's not even a cop. Like, that's just a guy. You are just a citizen. Like... What the fuck? You are both Only just citizens. Only cops don't like transparency. This department has a lot to hide. Sheriff Tom Reich. There goes the cop. 
Yeah, I guess you must just have like a weird conspiratorial mindset, and maybe that's what it is. Like you see a video like this, and you're like, oh well, it's the go- the Eaton County governmental complex. Of course, they've got the private secret super jet secret weapon that the military's been designing, or something. Like you, I guess you just have to assume that this is like. I don't know, an inherent baseline <laughs> systemic, like the, go- the the inside of the government building is secretly like the TARDIS and it takes you to another dimension or some shit. Like, I don't know. That has to be it. You, you watch a video like this and you're just like, oh yeah, they got the aliens in there. Of course this guy's trying to give you a problem. Here come the motherfucking popo. Look at this guy right here. He's impeding traffic to take my picture. Again, they'll just come up with any technicality of law and be like, oh, yeah, impeding traffic, whatever. Oh, yeah, you're impeding traffic. Uh, fuck. <laughs> they don't care about any of the laws that apply to the shit they're doing and makes them crazy. No, it's but when you, if you God help you if you're impeding traffic, bro. Okay guys, we made it to the Eaton County Sheriff outfit to conduct a First Amendment audit. Oh god, there's somebody in chat who like, I guess, watches me, but they're like on the side of these people. How did you get here? You're like the super feminists. You're like the weirdo super liberals that apparently watch me and it's like, uh, fine, enjoy the videos, but how? Like, what's, what's going on with you, mate? This dude in chat's like, oh, you're wrong about this, my man. You just, you don't understand, my man. You, you write about some things, but, you know, you Canadian, so clearly you don't understand. Y- yeah, I don't know, man. I don't need to, I, I'm going to be completely real. I don't need to know all the laws of America and each fucking county to uh, know that this is just being a fucking asshole. I mean, what, what? Every video we've seen is just somebody being a cunt. Yeah. Being a suspicious cunt. Uh, fuck them. I don't, I, what, get, fuck. What's, what's, confronted. what's hard about this? Got bullied around by one of their thugs. I'm on my way out of here. Oh, is this the guy? This is him. This guy in the fucking Freedom America hat? Okay, yeah. This weird little shrimpy man. Okay. So, in other... Wait. Silent treatment turns physical? We're really calling this physical? What happened that was physical? He, like, tried to put his hand over the phone or whatever. That was what was physical? Okay. Before we quit out on all this, I have one last thing I would like to show you. This is a 1 minute and 32 second video. This is on Reddit. Uh, This is something that I heard about this morning. Sobsit investigator steals a COVID vaccine for his lab. Wow. I just want to read it. Just, oh god, I can't wait to get copyright struck by Toto. I mean, I'm taking the vaccine. I just want to read the vial thing. Okay. I just want to read the vial. Is the vaccines in there? No, 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 no. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay, so he's just like making noom. He's just making off with the Take vaccine. My vaccine here, guys. We're gonna uh, go test this. We're gonna bring it to the lab. I'm gonna investigate here. You got wood trade. Here, hey, you, you can take the mask. Hey, Rob. And, uh... Sir? Oh, God, they know his name. Hey, Rob, come on. Stop being an asshole. I'll be taking this vaccine here. Don't touch me. Okay. Don't touch me. Hey, this is Rob. my vaccine, guys. Just wanna... Dude, Rob. this is poisoning people. Oh, my okay. God. So, uh... Just taking my hey, vaccine. Rob. We are, uh... That's not the one you're getting anyway. It, it ain't? It's a vaccine, all right? Nope. 
Okay, cool. I mean, I got it, so huh, huh. it don't matter. That's not even the vaccine, sir. Well, yeah, buddy, you know, it's in a vial. It's fine. We out of here. Glad I didn't lock the doors on me. She didn't want to let me get it. But I got it again, guys. I got it. It is. It's the Johnson & Johnson one. Oh, nice. Ugh, I had to finesse that one a little bit. Seemed like they were expecting it or something. <laughs> but, uh. Praise the Lord, guys. I got a full vial. Uh, yeah, time. praise the Lord. Full vial. I'm really not sure what God has to do with this, but I'm sure, I'm certain that you're sure of how that factors in. And uh, they're definitely calling the cops. <laughs> but uh, let's check it out. Yep, the Jensen COVID vaccine. All right, to the lab we go. So apparently this guy got arrested for this, so that's uh, that's pretty special. Uh, yeah, that's it's pretty special. I don't know. I just wanted to share that. I felt that that was a a fun moment in time. So now it is time for the motherfucking bonus round. We're looking at some uh, extra shit now. I really wish I could share with you where I found this guy. Uh, but this, this is a video, this is a guy who commented on a video, uh, from one of the people that we watched today. I don't remember which video, so I can't find the comment, but it was some like internet tough guy fucking comment and it was really sad. Uh, and I would just like to show you, uh, let me just get this set up here. Larry Dickus, uh, biggest Dickus over here. Uh, there he is. It's him. And this is like, I kind of, I almost feel bad about this. This is just some old man, but. Oh, it's him. He means business chat. On guard. Defend yourself. Oh, I feel threatened! He's coming! He's coming, he means business. Oh! The moves! Oh! How much do you just want to see this, all these balls, like, it's like a perfect comedy framing. How much do you want to see them just like collapse on top of this man? And then it like cuts away and it, he just cuts back to it and he's like struggling to get up. He trips over one of them. It would be great. It would be great. But yeah, this is just this man uh, doing, doing his moves. Uh, and uh, this is the Kung Fu horse stance, everybody. So that was Larry Deckus. Thank you for sticking around for the motherfucking bonus round. Uh, that was that was all I had to share with you. It was just a little brief look at our mans there. That's the that's the, uh, the I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that's the average person that watches these sorts of videos. You know that's uh, that that really that really makes me happy. Um, 